King Croc, when these chicks get here, we got Real Sky Bree and Ra Ra coming in. Mm -hmm. Friends of the show. They're too hot of chicks for this show, that's for sure. I don't know why they agree to do it. Hey, this time, you know, <laughs> Rara reached out, asked if uh, we'd want them on the pod again. And I said, sure. I think they like it. I think they're starting to be like, you know, we like the improv game, and they like hanging out with us, too. You hear that, kids? We're big dogs. We are fucking big. You got porn stars hitting you up? I will or say what? this, though. I mean, it is King Croc's basically only opportunity to kind of maybe sneak a feel, right? Like... King Croc, no, he's, I don't like the, how you put that. I'm sorry. Sneak a feel. Not what do you sneak. Mean sneak a feel. Be given a feel. Yes. Be donated a feel by mm. a, an attractive woman that yes. wants to donate a feel. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Absolutely. We're going to conduct ourselves like gentlemen. Mm -hmm. And that being said, I think the way King Croc wins these girls over, mm -hmm. he moonwalks into the room and starts singing Michael Jackson when they show up. It's about time that you get a little bit more black, King Croc. I think it, singing and dancing is part of every black man's game. Have you met? <laughs> have you ever met a black man who can't sing? I haven't. Oh, they yeah, all you have now. They can all sing, dude. And no, okay, no, no, you know what? We're gonna have a little practice. Uh, I'd like you to sing a song, <laughs> maybe just maybe two sentences or two bars, whatever the fuck. Sing a little bit, your best, uh, your whatever you want to sing. I, I would go with R and B if you can. You know, maybe some. I want some Louis Armstrong. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like that's our. You can say that's our. That's rhythm and blues. Yeah, some Louis. I don't Armstrong. know any Armstrong. Really? Yeah. Hello, Dolly. This is Louis. Dolly. <laughs> King Croc, sing something. What do you feel most comfortable winning these women over with? Uh, well, I'm stone cold sober right now, so. What a wonderful world. Far world. from the dome, but. Hmm. I'll take you to the candy shop. Oh, no. I got you and what you got. Oh, God. I'm me sucking on them lollipops. I forgot the song lyrics, but, you know. You that, literally went to the that song that, that 50 Cent did. It's literally about just <laughs> blowing a dude. It's, what? Yeah, that's what oh, the candy Croc. shop. What do you think no, is lollipop? What do you think the lollipop nah. is, buddy? It's his lollipop. Yeah. Right? Not, no, no. You guys no, no, are no, capping no. right you now. You didn't see his article uh -huh. with the Alliance magazine that came out in 2021, and he was talking about what the lyrics were really about everyone's no get, saw that article no I don't yeah know. dude everyone saw the article oh, you know he, it was in the advocate it was in the advocate, the advocate? actually you didn't I see that know. i remember you know how they pass them around on twitter i just remember yeah. seeing on twitter myself well, this is giving me will smith vibes it's making my tummy hurt you know just you're lying i mean he came this. out he did an article for the advocate and he <laughs> said that the song many men mm -hmm. was about all the sex partners he had <laughs> the song candy shop mm -hmm. is about all the cocks he sucked right because it, to make it in the rap game you actually do have many to men. Yeah. you got to get back <laughs> Out the way that we mean it, not the way that you mean low key. It. I did hear that about the hip hop industry, mm -hmm. yeah. And maybe out. Adam can confirm or deny that, but yeah. I heard a lot of those rappers be getting packed out the yep. way you say it, yeah. You know the way you, fudge packed, yeah. The turned, way we mean it, I mean, yeah, Eminem, packed. they turned that twink white boy into an Oreo cookie before he got <laughs> wow. his first album deal. It was worth it though. He's rich now, <laughs> and uh, you know, he's got a little angst. He got a pill, he had a pill addiction for a while, which will happen when you're. Sandwich between two <laughs> large black men. You know, Leo. Against your will. When internet porn became a thing, mm -hmm. which it became a thing pretty early in my life. Yeah, me too. I remember my first couple of times seeing boobs was on the internet. Mm -hmm. And back then, you couldn't guarantee you weren't going to get gay <coughs> porn yeah. because the algorithms weren't very sophisticated. You know, not much has changed. Sometimes I still get gay porn. Maybe it's because King Croc was using my computer before. <laughs> That's funny. There we go. <laughs> Blame it on King Croc. Uh -huh. yeah. But... I went to one time, this was the only URL my young mind could think of, <laughs> www.sex.com. Nice. And the home page was just a bunch of GIFs nice. of various people having sex with various things. Uh -huh. I would do that at the library. Just put it as, I would, I would literally put all the screens, I would porn on all the screens and just kind of go hide behind some books and watch what the, the you, people would come by. You. So your sex addiction, it's clear that that originated at a young age. Maybe. Austin, oh, yeah. please pull up sex.com just for us to see so I can see yeah. what happened to my beloved website. Please don't put this on the uh, on the show. In fourth grade, I went to this. And at first, it was... Blocked oh, due to wow. content filtering? What's going on, Austin? Uh, I'm a good Christian boy. We have safe my, search my on internet. our work computer here. That's I can't have Croc sitting here in the middle of the night jerking off on my computers. With, Damn, I he, gave him a key. Wait a second. Are you saying that you put a child like lock on the internet because of Croc? 
And Dino. I got to make sure Dino that Dino do that. Oh, sh- she, 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 fuck Dino. Hypocrite. Dude. Burn in hell. He's going to burn. God, he's such a little liar. He fucking jerks himself off oh all day. God. Every time we talk to Dino in here, it's like, you guys are sinners. That's that's cucking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everything you're saying is gay. And it's not the way of God. But you know when the sun goes down and mm-hmm. when Austin's eyelids mm, shut for the night, mm-hmm. Dino is like... <laughs> A little squirrel over there, just yeah. pleasuring himself. <laughs> oh God, dude, he does resemble a rodent in a way, like a lot, actually. If you really think about it, if you think about him jerking off, which I don't want to right now, but I'm, it, when you think about it, he looks like a rodent. Yeah, you know? absolutely. You know his posture would be atrocious. Yeah, which is oh, so uh, all that <laughs> guilt in his yeah. spinal cord. Just the guilt would manifest in him having the posture of a shrimp. Yeah, he's trying to hide his cock from God. You know, God's looking down, so he wants to hide it. Oh, so he's absolutely. really leading over. Yeah, God's like, do you know, what are you doing down there, son? <laughs> I, I just move your, I can't see what's going on. If Nothing you can't God. see it, you know. And Dino, you know, too, let's be honest, guys. What's the cliche about Republican politicians who they're calling everybody gay, they're blocking all this legislation on same-sex marriage? Yeah. They're the guys tapping their toes under the airport bathroom stall doors, okay? Mm-hmm. Trying to have homosexual rendezvous. Mm-hmm. So Dino, at the very least, he's masturbating to transgender porn. <laughs> I think so. I think I think we could start, yeah, maybe that, and he like snuck into the movie Bros with oh, like a hoodie. Oh, he went to Bros. He went to Bros. He went to Bros. He saw it with a hoodie on. Yeah. You know. Yeah, Dino yeah. So he went pissed. in there like, <laughs> when you see footage... <laughs> I remember there was footage once of Dave. Yeah, went to bros. Oh, he did, dude. (laughs) And he did it like, (laughs) when you see Ben Affleck walking down Fairfax Boulevard all incognito with aviators and a hoodie, that was Dino. (laughs) But instead of dressing up so we could go shop for some Prada briefcase, Uh Dino dressed up so we could go see guys having sex with each other. (laughs) Yeah, dude. It's basically a softcore porn, I guess, so... Yeah, he definitely went to bros. Uh, you put that on the record. Uh, Dino from uh, the Leo Danny show went to see bros. <laughs> what do you think he did? This is how it went. He went so up to the movie theater, and oh, he God. was just so nervous. And you know he had a crucifix in his pocket, and he had a good book <laughs> and his sweatshirt. And he gets up, and he's so ner- He can barely speak to the checkout guy, some right. pimply teenager. Hello, sir. Which film would you like to watch tonight? Dino's like, uh... I'll take one, two, bro. I mean, Top Gun Maverick, because it's based. How many people are going to be in the theater for bros, though? Just curious. Oh, there's some seats in the back? Oh, okay. Yeah, just as far back as possible. Because, you know, I'm uh, I'm really nearsighted. <laughs> like, really near. I got to be at the back corner at where there's... I don't like the usher lights, because I actually have seizures. Can you turn those off? And then... <laughs> But and then Dino, he I guess where we're going wouldn't make too much sense now because mm-hmm. it'd be you could have them adjust the seating all he wanted to to Maverick, but at some point he's gonna have to <laughs> slip into the Bros mm-hmm. Theater, and he's gonna have to watch whatever orgies happen in that. How was that movie, King? <laughs> Oh, yeah, real funny, Dan. I've, I've never seen it. <laughs> hey, dude, uh. come on. It's not gay if we do. I think we all should go for a video. And I watch love it, it dude. I love it. I honestly. Day off video? I think it would be just fun if we all no camera just went and saw bros. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you know it would be hilarious. We 100% need to go see bros. That would be the funniest thing ever, dude. Come on. It, it might even be funny. Like, it might, We don't know that it sucks. We just know that it didn't do well at the box office, and we yeah. know Billy Eichner was being. A bitch about it. We probably have the whole place to ourselves. Yeah, I think at this point, yeah, yeah he was not handling it well. Uh, he, that was definitely not cool. But Wait, was it true he was the director and an actor in it? I, I, don't, know. I don't know if he was the director. Oh, okay, I don't know, mm. but I can get how. Dude, that's why I don't like the idea. People ask me, Danny, would you ever be into doing a movie? Which, first of all, I acknowledge that mainstream Hollywood's not going to come for me anytime soon, but. It would be so frustrating to put everything into a movie and then for your self-worth to be so writing on how that thing does at the box office. I think we do. I think we a lot of pirating problems for our video, but I do believe it would do great in the box office. Yeah, but it's just you put all that work into something and I guarantee bros 
has been viewed by fewer people than the Danny Mullen channel. We'll, we'll, how, fewer people than we'll see the Danny Mullen channel this month. This month? Damn. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I guarantee So you're it. smoking on them. Like, and they put, up. like, Judd Apatow produced it. Think about how much money they spent on that thing. I heard $60 million plus their mark with their oh, marketing budget. With their Dude, marketing budget, yeah. You know what crazy thing I've noticed? I never, I'm driving around, right, looking at the billboards, new movies coming out, and I started noticing all these movies, for example, um, Amsterdam. Yeah. There's like a billion supposedly A-level actors. Yeah. It didn't used to be like that. Yeah, the used ensemble to be like, casts. Yeah, I know, dude. Christian Bale could run, yeah, he could run a movie by himself. Yeah, it's, he's been It's almost like they cast, need like, more... To more talent now to get people into movies or something. Like, or, you the rock. or you need the uh, rock. Yeah. Or you need or Gosling is pretty good still, dude. He did a he did an action movie with him, with up. Chris. Uh, no, he did an action movie. Leo with Chris just has a crush on. It's, him. it's the biggest Netflix movie of all time. What? Right? Which one? Wait, what? It was no, one of the biggest. It's that I don't even. I honestly I haven't watched it yet. <laughs> yeah, and you know the title I've of had, it. It's sad. Bad. And nobody here has even heard of it. Yeah, it sounds like the biggest Netflix film of all time. No, it did. Well. Ryan Gosling <laughs> will ensure your movie opens. You hear that, Hollywood? He's still big time. He's still the man. You know, we need Gosling, bro. He's the last like kind of leading man, romantic kind of alpha dude left. Dude, I disagree. I, dude, I'm gonna be honest. This is what's happened. Like Hollywood took a D-turn. When they got rid of Harvey Weinstein, bro, we need to bring him back. Like movies aren't. If good If he could anymore. do the deals from jail, I think he needs to stay in jail. But if he could do some of his old, you know, deal making while he's in jail, like make a fucking deal happen. What if he gets like the fucking the prison guard to? He has an eye for that? talent. Listen, uh, Harvey Weinstein is an undeniably talented film producer, mm -hmm. and made it so that a lot of very very great films were brought to a mass audience. Yeah. That said, the guy. Well, he needs to work on his manners. <laughs> I mean, you know, yeah. I think he grabs some girl's tits and she goes, what are you doing? And he goes, I'm sorry. I'm just I'm used to people just girls letting me do it. So he said that. Uh, yeah. Dang. It's like audio. It's you know, wild. I really didn't. <laughs> that would be an interesting deep dive because his his crimes are sort of the same crimes that I hear people attribute to, like uh, Genghis Khan. Like, I know yeah. vaguely that he went from village to village somewhere, raping and pillaging, mm. but I don't, I haven't sat down and read all the accounts of Weinstein. I know he mm. jerked off into a bush. That I was, know he I liked to get massages. No, I think it was, yeah, he would basically call. I, Weinstein I, definitely jerked off into a plant. Oh, wow. That's definitely a part of his legend. It's a solid okay. spot to do it. I mean, if you're in the, in the office, I mean, where else are you going to do it? Yeah, and. I think there might be some plant food elements to male it's semen. Protein, I'm pretty sure it's. I mean, it's yeah. moist. It's moist. Plants yeah. like moisture. Yeah, I'm sh pretty sure there's some H2O in there. Yeah, it's it sucks though. Everybody's coming out of the woodwork. I mean, that ficus plant's now got a civil lawsuit going against him though. Damn. Dude, I almost got Weinsteined. I went for this audition. I've seen you get Weinstein. I've seen Andy Dick Weinstein you, which no, was awesome. This, this yeah. was different, man. This. It was for like this Bollywood oh, okay. so, film. This is, so now it's and a story about how it gets Austin pussy. was telling no, 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 me. Dude, I wanted to I'm save it for the you, pod, bro. but Austin's been telling me that he went to multiple auditions for a Bollywood movie. Okay, so. continue. I, I went so to an audition think? for this Bollywood movie, mm -hmm. and uh -huh. it was like this middle-aged Indian woman who met me on Bumble. And if she was just 100% trying to use that to have sex with young guys, like... It, she was just trying to fuck, and I think Damn. if I fucked her, like she wanted me to come to her apartment on Friday, but I backed out of it. You should get her address and street view it. If she is a producer, you got to make sure that thing is. What do you think, Leo? I think it's got to be more than a two point five million dollar apartment. Otherwise, she doesn't have any pull in Bollywood. You she showed me some clips it's from the giant. movie. It was pretty amateur stuff. Like they're still shooting it or whatever, and apparently she needed to like recast the main role. Who was like another like young blonde guy, and I was like, D -d 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 like I basically asked her, I was like, are you just like trying to find guys that you're like attracted to to play this <laughs> role because there's like all these sex scenes in the movie? Austin, we don't have uh, the GoPro rolling. Oh, okay. There's but a yeah, bunch man, of that's just real. She was just trying to, to have sex with me. I saw a Bollywood movie once. It was. I had just moved down to San Diego, mm -hmm. and I was training jujitsu with Salo Riberos, and this Middle Eastern dude, he was Muslim. He was my first Muslim friend. He, uh, yeah, everyone needs one of those. Yeah, dude. He invited me to go see a movie, and I thought there were going to be like a bunch of people from the gym. I thought we were going to see something American and box oh. office. Oh my god! He takes me to a theater that it 
looks like the theater looked when King Croc went to go see Bros. <laughs> Stop. This weekend. It was yeah. King Croc, mm. three dudes huddled together up front, mm -hmm. and then an empty theater. And I was in there with this dude, and we watched The Three Idiots. It's a Bollywood film. No. And it ended up actually being good, A. Eh? Uh -huh. And uh, it was sort of a tearjerker. And wow. the guy was very, very interesting. And he always ha would suggest the most cliche social things to do like after the gym when people were like in the locker room and the conversation was wrapping up like oh yeah good training session today guys ah oh, brian your omoplatas are getting tight yeah and then this middle eastern kid the muslim would be like so do you guys want to go out for bowling no dude. <laughs> you guys I love this to, guy you guys want to go out for ice cream Dude, if I had a buddy take me to a Bollywood movie, it would be awesome, man. And then uh, one time, we, uh, this dude that I used to live with on the fighter block, when I used to live with Uriah Faber, all the MMA guys, he took advantage of me being like 18 and naive and being unable to say no to older guys who I thought were cool. And I know that sounds sexual, but it wasn't. <laughs> Basically, he would like make and give me weed products and tell me to sell them. And then he would just take like all the money. Damn. And I was just like, he was my roommate, and I just couldn't say no to these older guys because I didn't feel like it was my role. That sounds good. I mean, I, I'm actually going to start doing that with Dino. Yeah, I'd I be think good. that's genius. I think it helped me learn. It definitely mm -hmm. helped me learn. Mm -hmm. That's like pimping young boys, bro. That's, that's what he was doing. Up. <laughs> and I sold. He didn't get backed out though, like you did. So I never relax. Got back. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. I'm I, sorry. He didn't. <laughs> I. So I'm down in San Diego and I'm slinging this weed. This and is it, nuts. Bro. It is just fuck? dirt weed, dude. It what? is so bad. It looks like. It's a, an overgrown weed. Uh -huh. It had been trimmed and dried slightly and put in a mason jar. Worse than the, these. Worse than Austin's weed it, from it, his home. It looks like a tier or two worse than the stuff wow. that these assholes pull out of their backyard. <laughs> so right, I, I need to know the salesmanship that you were using. I want to know the the script. I want to be the guy that you sold the weed to. Okay. Well, yeah. there there wasn't much. Sure, let's try it. <laughs> All right. So I'm an 18 year old. What? Oh, you stop. It was a stranger. Hello? Uh, hello, sir. Uh -huh. My name is Danny, and I just want to know if you like to party. <laughs> yeah, sure, I, I guess. What the fuck? Well, just between you and me, mister, because you seem cool. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I'm holding here a jar of the finest herbosa available in California. It's a sativa mm. indoor. It's got a nice mellow aftertaste when you let out the smoke. Oh. Hmm. Well, I'm a fan of sativa. Are you? Yeah. I am. I always preferred it to indica myself. See, yeah. I know my stuff, huh? Yeah, I'm no bum. You know, indica <laughs> yeah. makes you lazy. Well, sativa, not so much. I just, I want you to, if you want to buy some, please mm. produce the money. I don't want you to look at it How right now. Um, How much? How much do you want? Just, uh, I'd like, um, well, you know, I don't want to put you in a tight spot financially, so $5 will do. Just, you just, I, you just sure. I don't want you to take a look at sure, it. Sure. I just, it'll be a, it'll surprise when I give it to you after you pay me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure, kid. Here's 10. Oh, wow, tip. thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to leave this actually on your door. So will you promise to not open it and examine it until I'm, say, two blocks away? <laughs> no problem. Oh, oh, okay. Thank you. If you <laughs> sell me some bunk weed, it's okay. It's only 10 <laughs> bucks. <laughs> really? Yeah. You're very cool. I mean, we are in, in uh, Ocean Beach, San Diego. So yeah. you used to skateboard. Right. You've got like an independent truck tattoo on your bicep. I'm all good. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I, you're, I went you're to cool. the beach this morning. All right. Well, here, here's a bunch of skunk weed. Thank that you. Appreciate you, it. It's gonna, you have to smoke that whole bag oh. if you intend to feel any effects whatsoever. I'll give to the beach babysitter yeah there we go that's how it went and it was yes. terrible but this muslim kid after i gave him my pitch and sold this dude who lived by islamic law and had never even had a drink before in his life he was Whoa. so nice he bought like 20 bucks of skunk weed off me wow. and smoked it in my apartment <laughs> out of a duck call that i used to smoke weed out of no and wow. uh, he was pretty fine when he was in the apartment, this dude, who I think is going to hell now, at least in the eyes of Allah. But mm. after he left, a half hour later, I just get a text from this dude. Dude, I am fucking high. And there you go. I got a Muslim kid stoned. Oh, hell yeah. Was it? Well, I you're mean, also going to hell, Danny. I just want you to know that. Is that how it works? Have you read yeah. the Quran? Yes, sir. No, you haven't. Dude, I've read all the Hadiths. I've read... All that shit. Okay, the tell hadiths? me a little bit about Islam. 
Well, um, what are the five pillars of Islam? That's not a real thing. Yes, it is. There's no such thing as the five pillars of there Islam. There absolutely are. I, I, dude, I took Middle Eastern history classes in you college tell me one because of the they were easy. Of the so called five pillars uh, of Islam. Well, let me go. So, the first one to be this is what you need to do to become a Muslim. That's okay. what I'm talking about. Okay. Do you know? So, it sounds like you don't know at all. No, no, I know mean. exactly what yeah, that tell is. Tell me I'm what you got to do to become a Muslim. I'm trying to see if you uh-huh. know. Uh huh. Okay, we'll go one after another. Okay, you go you first. You must declare that there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is his prophet. You're up. And then you must pray four times a day. I think that might be a... Uh, I think it's five times a day. Uh, five, yeah, Towards yeah. Towards Mecca, right? If yes. you're under 10 years old, it's only four times. Okay, and then you got to give 10% of your income to uh, charity. And then you can't eat pork. That's not a pillar of Islam. <laughs> That's not a pillar of Islam. Danny, you really know Islam or not? Yeah, dude, because it was the easiest subject at UCLA in yeah. the history department, I would always take the classes. Damn. Mr. Peter Smart. Bur- Mr. Peter That's why Bur- I took a lot of Chicano shit. studies. I took a lot of Chicano studies at mm. Valley College because it was the easiest. Yeah. Know. Yeah, my father was Muslim, so I was half Muslim growing up, but I never studied. I went to mosque a bunch of times. But uh, I know more about Islam than you do, you piece of garbage. Maybe. Well, but at uh, the same time, I'm a Christian. Why aren't you? You know what Islam I mean. So why would I study way? the enemy? I'm just kidding. They're yeah. not my enemies. But Whoa. Yeah. I, they're not my enemies. Yeah. God was but, looking at you, and nodding approvingly, when Kazumi jacked you off in the bathroom. Listen, buddy. Dude, they're all sin. Brother. The God. Well, there's, only one, <laughs> there's only one God. You know, up there, and uh, you know, and he uh, he's not very happy with you. And go get the two whores that are outside, they're please. Outside. What? Hey. They're very nice girls yeah. that are outside. Are Sorry. They outside? Yeah, I believe I'm, they're outside. I'm psyched. They're here. King Croc. Yes. Oh, wow. This is going to be fun. King Croc, you got to sing for him when they get in here. How, what am I going to sing, bro? You got to sing some Michael Jackson. All right. My hair is a little messed up. I want to rock with I you sharp. all night. How about that one, King Croc? Pretty Leo. young thing. Where are they? Where are I think they're in the parking lot. I saw one of their stories. They, they try to call me on Instagram. But the stories was in the parking lot. Look at the parking lot. King Croc. It's a text. What if things went terribly wrong and King Croc got pepper sprayed out there? Oh, God. (laughs) As long as it's on video. Um, you need to do a po- I'm going to have you apologize to them for calling them whores. Stop. It was a joke. And I believe they would take that as a badge of honor, honestly. I'm, I'm sure that they, they don't mind being called whores. We'll ask yeah. them. It might be empowering. I don't know. We'll talk to them. Well, we'll talk yeah, to them. It's empowering for if, sure, don't you think? I'm being called like a, you know, if you look at it the way that, you know, nowadays women want to be equals, Danny, right? If I yeah. call you a slut, what do you, what do you, what do you, what do you think? How do you feel? Good. Right. I mean, it's been a good month. <laughs> it's been, yeah, exactly. You've been it's a, a good fucking month. whore. Yeah, You're yeah. a dirty little slut. I mean, any guy who gets chlamydia is uh-huh. by definition doing well. Hell yeah. Now, let me call you a fucking slore. That's a slut and a whore together. How do you feel now? That's great. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? Even better. Yeah. A slore, it's. I've been talking about this lately, dude. Dudes, this is a true stat. 10% of men have sex with 90% of the women on the planet. Okay, so if you're a slore or a slut, or if you have a burning sensation when you piss, that means you're in the 10%. So any guy listening to this show, if you've ever gotten pubic lice, well, maybe not that one, because you can get that off an airport toilet seat, Mm. but if you've ever had gonorrhea, you've ever had syphilis, congratulations, you're in the top 10%. Ten percenters, ten percenters, ten percenters. I don't know how I've avoided an STD all these years. It's pretty surprising. Well, you never have sex with any of the women, Leo. Well, there are a lot simple. of blowjobs. Yeah, but I guess like if you really look it up, I mean, it says that blowjobs are you're at some risk for STDs. You can only get STDs going missionary. That's you know, why. I wonder. Oh, uh, well, that's <laughs> why. <laughs> that's ninety-five why percent of the time I'm in doggy. You know, I used to think, and this used to be something that was said in my social circle, was that. The textbooks and the teachers are trying to scare you away from having sex, mm-hmm. and that's why you hear a lot of these horror stories. My, 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 my friend had premarital sex without a condom, and his nutsack rotted off. Mm-hmm. You would hear stuff like that. Or the first-time AIDS guy. <laughs> 
But that now that's not real. But now in school, I feel like in fourth grade, when they bring you in the little packet on puberty and they give you the mm. deodorant and they give you condoms, maybe not in fourth grade, but mm. when they show you the VHS, I feel like that is now saying like, hey, are you texting the chicks? Yeah, I'm texting the chicks. Sorry. I'm trying to get them in. They're right not here. here. Yeah. King they're, Crocs. Being no, they're here. Server. They're here. They're just looking for barking. Oh, OK. Now, cold, I, I feel like these the VHS tape in class mm -hmm. is is less like sex. Only have it when you're ready and make sure you're being safe. Now, I feel like it's sex. Have as much as possible with whomever you would like today. And yeah. instead of deodorant, they give you some anal lube. They give you some anal lube. Uh -huh. They give you a cock ring and a butt plug in your starter pack once you hit kindergarten. That's perfect. That's that's what it seems like. And maybe I'm watching too much Fox News. It's hard to know. I mean, both sides are just pumping propaganda. But there is truth. There's, I mean, it's undeniably true that school systems are... At least judging by the uh, some of the teachers that have been outed in various places, they're pumping yeah. sex into the kids' ears. I don't know about Mia used to tell you about the uh, her friends or uh, her experiences with STDs. But my ex at UCSB would say that pretty much every girl that she knew had gotten an STD at some point at that school. You know what I mean? Yeah, I believe it, dude. Mm -hmm. It's a fuck fest. I went to Santa Barbara, and I remember one time. I when I say I went there, I mean I went there recreationally to have mm. a good time. And I remember I went there once in 2009 and I had just used shampoo as shaving cream okay. to shave my nuts. They're, they're looking for parking, King Croc. Okay. Get back out there. Here, it's, here. FaceTime them. Here, call them for my phone. Here. And I'm going to wrap up this story before they get in here because it was really embarrassing. Hey, here, one second. I'm going to send King Croc to get you guys. Okay, like a side street. Perfect. There's parking in the main lot if you want to park there. So I shaved my nuts right before the trip in mm. anticipation of getting laid. And my nut sack, something about the friction of the razor and the chemical compound inside the Pantene Pro-V. Sulfate. It made my nut sack turn bright red and actually peel. Oh. <laughs> it, my nut sack was peeling like a snake in January. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> and I get there, and it's it hurts. Worst case scenario. And it's hot to the touch. Mm. And again, it looks like a diamondback <laughs> that's shedding its skin. And oh my I, God. I, I found an Asian woman. Thank God for <laughs> thank God that Asian women, they, they used to like me. Uh -huh. Well, I guess they still do. My girlfriend's Asian. Mm -hmm. But one, just we made out on the street. Maybe we didn't even make out on the street, Leo. It might have even been creepier than that. We might have just exchanged kind words. And I remember having a very platonic conversation on the entire walk back to her dorm. Mm -hmm. Subjects as benign as, what are you studying? Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't like MLA format either. And sometimes I, I don't want to write just five paragraphs. I want to add a, a sixth. Oh, just, there's so much to talk about in college about class. It's great. Just And, and for me, I was in community college, so mm. I'm sure I was trying to sound smarter than I was. Yeah. So she didn't smell a community college interloper. Mm -hmm. But they're frowned upon out there. Of course. But we get, I mean, we just get up to the apartment, and it just close off. We start fucking instantly. A uh, missionary? Yeah. With mm -hmm. everywhere. She's blowing me, and I just have this bright red throbbing. <laughs> oh, my. My God, mm -hmm. chafy nutsack. Did she notice it? <laughs> no, oh. she didn't. But that's lesson learned. Mm -hmm. Don't shave. I don't even remember how I got onto this tangent. Mm -hmm. But you're talking about STDs at Santa Barbara. <laughs> yeah. I got an STD from a Bic razor and a shampoo bottle. <laughs> wow. So that just lets you goes. That goes to show you, kids, you can't be too careful. Yeah. I'm gonna piss real quick. All right, go for it. So we have the lovely Rara and Real Sky Bree here. Everybody loves them. They're the channel's darlings. They, they uh, not only are they lovely women, but they have a sense of humor. They're good podcasters. In yeah. their everyday life and also mm -hmm. in their sex lives, too. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, real Sky Bree, everybody remembers the time she gave a midget a hand job. Correct. It oh, was on. You're, it was yeah. on. You witnessed nice. it. We spent Thanksgiving together. <laughs> actually, that's that makes it sound very formal, as mm -hmm. if her and I uh, <laughs> had a candlelight dinner at an exclusive <laughs> LA restaurant. It was me, a blacked out Inland Iggy, 
and a couple other people roaming drunkenly around the Illinois. Yeah, I passed. I passed to go with, hang out with my fam that day. Actually. Yeah, you're a, a fucking idiot. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> the fuck? I had, you know, I didn't know you were going to jerk off a midget. You know, I, maybe Could've had I known. Could have been you. Could have been. Well. <laughs> so. been nice. What I wanted to tell uh, Sky is that tragically that guy's disappeared. Which one? And he's not disappeared like, I mean, with them, you know, he could, Midget? if he just accidentally wandered under the table, people would be like, wait, where'd he go? <laughs> he's, uh, yeah, it's not like that. He's not hiding. It's more like, you Ignoring. know. Ignoring. Yeah, exactly. He's okay. off the grid. You know, he's not posting, you know. And Ben, I want to say, Ben, you're my guy. I like Ben. Mm. No hate on Ben. But w- my editor had an idea that we were going to take Ben, mm. a small man, to the smallest city in California. <laughs> <laughs> it's up on the central coast. It's by Santa Cruz That's somewhere. Right and it's got a population oh, nice. rah-rah of like three people. Uh-huh. And, you know, who knows? Maybe the mayor's office is very teeny tiny. <laughs> maybe they have like little jungle gyms. And Aww. maybe everybody's on average about three inches shorter. I don't know. But I was, was he on board? Him. Was he on board for that? He didn't respond. Maybe he was offended. Mm. I doubt that. Mm. Because uh. even his best friends at the Thanksgiving event were calling them midgets. Right. Which, right. Oh, wow. And they didn't seem offended by it. And that gave us the okay to echo that language. Right. I didn't feel comfortable saying I gave a little person ha- head. Wait, so you oh, think... Oh, head? I thought it was a hand. That's why she just jacked him well, off. Well, originally it was supposed to be head, and then I chickened out a little bit mm-hmm. because I was right. like, I don't know where your dick's been. Mm-hmm. So I definitely, I mean, I did spit on it a little bit, but then I jerked mm-hmm. him off, and he, only, right. he lasted like 30 seconds. Which is midget. Perfect. perfect. That's now, perfect, yeah. discrimination, anyone? That's what I'm hearing. Oh, because she didn't give him head? <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you think? Oh, this guy's... Ben's on his... Let's say Ben, the, the little person, or, or midget, whatever. Um, let's say it's, he's on his deathbed. Do you think he... He, this is one of his top three moments. I mean, he's talking to his best friend. His best friend goes, oh, "What are the best moments you've ever had on this earth?" You know, you An think he H. mentions J from, from Real Sky, Real Sky from e? Definitely. I mean, yeah, I, mean definitely I think. Yeah. You, you think he mentions it in the first three? I, first? I think that's probably the first thing he mentions in any <laughs> conversation. Yeah. To be and honest. Then he goes, over, "Hey, what's up? I've got I got yeah. jerked off by Real Sky Bree. You yeah. follow her? Oh, I got jerked and off by the her. way he retells it. He's like a hobbit, and she's a giant who came down from the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! A, a big person came down. She took hold of my penis. I'm, she was I'm, beautiful. I'm, I'm telling you, Tabithy, it she, happened. <laughs> She had ocean blue eyes. Yeah, it's Thank you. for him it's like a legendary story. It's like a Jack and the Beanstalk mm. type thing. <laughs> right. What's up with the outfit? Well, it's Columbus Day. It is. And Isn't he canceled? He, he is, is very yeah. canceled. We don't we we don't cancel people on this show. We know. We don't. Or else you guys have probably been yeah. canceled about We've been canceled 50 uh, times over. Yeah. Uh, a couple uh, times. Danny for sure more than me at this point. Hey, you're tied with me maybe. I don't know. Tied. We've got two cancellations. Two but the each. great thing is <laughs> That Leo's got a way more mainstream mm-hmm. juice than me because mm-hmm. he was on The Bachelorette. So when I got canceled for the the fat rant I did, it, <laughs> they really just used Leo as the clickbait. Mm-hmm. And so I am just this unnamed comic mm-hmm. and a Leo from The Bachelorette. I was laughing. Stood by laughing as I said all these horrible things. Yeah. <laughs> but no, we don't. But the, the Columbus thing, I did look him up today. And uh, he did some bad stuff. We'll put it that way. Well, right. how do we know the the source though? Is the source right. who's the source? You know what I mean? Well, uh, so facts. I'll, That's I want to the truth about the internet. You know? Leo is Italian. I so am. Leo's I got to defend him. I have to defend Christopher Columbus. That's he was born in Italy. <laughs> He's but Italian. He he was banging, and this is relevant to you, ladies. He was banging a lot of Indian women. Why is that relevant to them? Be, right. Because <laughs> they're ladies. Oh. Well. And this is an inclusive podcast. So <laughs> if we're going to talk about an explorer having sex with native chicks, mm-hmm. I want the chicks to weigh in on it. Mm -hmm. Uh, What I'm curious about is how desirable were native women in the 14 whatevers? Well, I would think that the European chicks would would just have hairy, the hairiest vaginas you could have. I'm talking about the native chicks. Yeah, no, but that's what I'm saying. The native chicks probably, I mean, have you ever had, uh, you hooked up with a native American chick or a girl that was like 50% native American? There's no pussy hair, really. You got to wait for me to finish the rain dance. Yeah, what is, do you guys have uh, routines? I mean, you, what is. I got laser today. So laser, is that the most effective? Damn. Yeah, laser is the most effective, yeah. 
Mm. Lasered. And yes. then when you get lasered, how long are you good for? Mm. Six weeks. Six weeks. Yeah. Sky? Yeah. I shave personally, mm. but it's still bald and mm. smooth. She's very hairless. How naturally. often do you have to shave? And how many times have you eaten her asshole and pussy, Rara? Great question. That, many a times. <laughs> nice. Wow. Many, probably wow. once a week. Once since a week, we probably. Yeah, once a week we on video, would you say once a week? It's mostly More, off video. Yeah, it's mo- mostly off really? video. Really? You eat yeah. each other out off video? <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> Can we talk think- about the time I ate her shit? What? No. One, okay, my. so one time we were having a threesome with someone we were... We've never talked about that. Oh we're very God. linked Sorry. to heavily on the internet. We're not going to say his name because we, oh we've God. decided not to mention okay. it anymore. But um, Jake he Paul. was... <laughs> <laughs> allegedly. Um, he was really into fingers up the ass of all really parties. And mm-hmm. um, there was one point where... He, and you girls were okay with that? Uh, I'm down for whatever. Mm-hmm. Down for yeah. anything, yeah. pretty right. much. Huh? Mm-hmm. Right, and he pulled his fingers out her ass, and there was shit on them. And when I'm having sex, I mean, I'm a performer. Like whatever you throw at me, I'm gonna take it. And I licked it off his fingers. I sucked it off and said, "Hmm." Wow. Afterwards, wow. <laughs> did you swallow? I did. <laughs> Jesus. Damn. Christ. I will well, say, real friend. Afterwards, wow. I did get up and I went to the bathroom and used mouthwash. But okay. uh, that, well, she had to do oh, it. Wow. You, you were a trooper. Yeah, she Jesus. was a trooper. <laughs> the store is not even uh, impressive anymore. Oh my god, dude. that is Definitely. out of control. I mean, Danny, you could. Ne- I mean, is that one of your deepest and darkest fantasies, or is that more like you're just in shock of what? That's what? no. My deepest darkest fantasy is not to have a girl eat my shit. <laughs> you lo- but you are a fan of ass play. So where does it go in twenty years when you're still doing the ass play? What that might be next. Damn good. Qu- are you an ass play like? You getting fingers up the ass, or are you putting your fingers How, up the ass? This is a little help, Danny. Describe. Your biggest orgasm in, in the position you were in and what your girlfriend was doing. <laughs> Describe it in detail. I'm sorry to do this to you, by the way. It's such a humiliating position. <laughs> okay? It is, it is. We might have to see the visual. All fours. Okay, this, yeah, there I think, we go. I think the word, sometimes I try to learn vocabulary words because I hear them a couple times and I don't know what they mean. Tableau is mm-hmm. one that I've heard recently. And it's an mm-hmm. image depicting something just frozen in time. I think usually it's something significant happening, Mm -hmm. but the tableau of me and my girlfriend is so embarrassing that it hurts to say it, but I was on my elbows and knees, (laughs) bent over, (laughs) in the position you'd assume when a doctor's got to check your prostate. Right. Mm -hmm. But a doctor wasn't checking my prostate. Uh, a quarter Asian woman, my girlfriend, was licking my ass while jerking me off underhand. Mm. And I came. I came so hard it hurt. Have you done it since? Whoa. Is this a regular thing? Semi. Semi? Okay, yeah, so yeah. it's like a well. once a month. Guy. You don't actually ever mention doing it again. You don't You don't come in the car when we're about to go somewhere and you're like, hey, do you know what I did last night? Yeah. <laughs> you don't yeah. tell me. So how often so do you funny. actually do it? I, it's only been two or three times. Since. But it just, it's such a... A humiliating position. Yeah. That I mean, King Croc, you probably you're looking at me like I'm a gay guy, right? No, like, I'm just. I mean, you it's lost all some good. respect for me. No, like you actually do the part of the porn. I skip every time. Like I always skip that shit, and you just do it, and it's it's cool. No, King yeah, Croc, I respect that. King Croc's lying. We've come I'm to the lying. conclusion that these guys. He's one of those dudes who's hyper masculine, and he thinks. Oh that yeah. Because now you're gonna say I'm homophobic. Like too, if right? you read a poem or you tell a girl how you feel, you start worrying that you might be homosexual. Listen, dude, it's okay that you watch the guys getting rim jobs, and it's okay that that. I received one in that position, and it's okay that Ra Ra got her shit eaten by Sky. (laughs) Why do you have to be in that position, though? Because I've eaten a lot of ass. Usually, they just kind of lift their ass up a little bit, Mm -hmm. and you go underneath. Mm. That, you can do that and keep your dignity, and I like that better, but I, I don't know. Is, this, is it bad that I was in that position? Is I that like I was wearing all, panties, no, getting no. pegged? No. I don't think that they would no. not. I mean, if, if you're, uh, what would be a kink that would turn you guys off where you might not be able to mess with a guy if he had that kink? Like, yeah. what would actually turn you guys off? That's I don't hard. Think, yeah, I don't think anything. What about Literally? pegging? Pegging. If he wants you to I wear just, a strap. Oh, are you kidding me? I just pegged a... 
girl pegged someone different. for the first time, but she it was a girl, so it doesn't count. Oh. But mm. I yeah. have yeah. always wanted to peg a dude, but I haven't found a dude yet that's into it. So mm. if anyone here, mm. Danny, King Croc, King Croc, Danny, <laughs> King Croc, you would as much as you would deny it publicly, you would let Sky peg you until your prostate came out. That is absolutely not true in any you way. You are so full of shit, dude. I'm telling you straight up, I would never ever in my life do that. Okay, you know what? You think you're being hyper straight by saying that, but you're coming off hyper gay. <laughs> You're turning Yo, down what Sky. Is whole, Danny, I have no, a video. No, no, no. Sky's idea. a beautiful woman. I'm not even saying that. I'm just saying, like, I don't want to get pegged. You're pretty gay for turning pegged. that down. I'm sorry, dude. Yeah. So you, you, your want, mind. you would rather get pegged. If I were you, I would take it right up the ass. No, no. He's not saying <laughs> rather get pegged. He's saying both if that's those. all that's on the table, if Sky's like, hey, I don't want you to fuck me. I'm not interested in blowing you. I never want to talk to you again after tonight, but I'm going to fuck you, missionary, like Jenna Jameson <laughs> on the missionary. casting couch. <laughs> missionary. <laughs> God, dude, <laughs> dude, I'm I'm a guy. I think about negotiations, right? So I'm saying, what do we have at the well, table? Well, negotiate. Don't look at me. Look at Sky. What do we say, Sky? Do you want to negotiate this right I'm now? Down. Okay. Oh and, and I will say right now, Sky, <laughs> for OnlyFans, of course, everything in here is. It's a safe space, completely consensual. But King Croc, if you did do content with him on OnlyFans, <laughs> it would blow up because he's a cult hero. Yeah. So this is a real I'm negotiation down. potential. Think about it. Yeah, Just think about it. So let's. Ne- so we'll you don't want because right now, all Sky's willing to do right now is lay down some like Dexter style latex <laughs> so her apartment doesn't get dirty and peg you with gloves on. <laughs> That's all she wants to do with you right now. Negotiate your way out of that. Okay, so obviously you like me a little bit. A little bit. You want to put some in my butt or whatever. <laughs> but I say let's take it slow, right? So uh, yeah. before we get into it, let's Is there going to be foreplay? Of course there's got to be foreplay. Do you eat pussy good? I definitely, I tear that shit up. Can you guys right vouch for that? No, no we I can't. can't. We, we can't never can't. spoke about it. We can't very <laughs> vouch for Listen, anything that I've got some secret 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 secret. We really can't vouch for anything. <laughs> so... Hey, so I say we talk about this more later. You know what I mean? Shut up. No, no this is entertainment. No, no, no. no. <laughs> He's starting no. to use his so, Anthony move. I know. So, Bullshit. so, so, um, I don't know. What's your, like, what do you like? What are you into? What, would, what, what kind of content would you want to make? Personally, I'm mm. into whatever the guy's into. I'm a oh, giver. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you into League of That's, Legends? I love that so much. No, because I'm a taker. You know what I mean? So you're a giver. I'm a taker. Perfect. You and you thinking of the ass? No. <laughs> <laughs> you got me with that one. <laughs> I did have a video idea, though, and I want to say it real quick. Uh, yeah. We should have these ladies fucking Eiffel Tower fan Jerry. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Jerry? Yeah. Fan Jerry. Oh. The Eiffel Tower fan Jerry, dude? So oh. I feel like you girls, as long as we were there to keep you safe. Mm-hmm. Because, like, no one better to be there, honestly. It, yeah. yeah, exactly. Case, and then also, if you're, if you're pegging oh. a guy, there's no real contact. So I feel like you girls would peg basically anybody. Mm-mm. Can we She's pull up? Fan so Jerry is the, he's a handsome <laughs> guy. Can we pull up a picture of Fan Jerry. Let's pull up Fan Jerry, please. Is he on Google? No Shay. way. Dude, he's probably oh, yeah, he's 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 on bro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look at yeah. this guy. All right, Fan Jerry in the top row there. That's <clears throat> a, that's his best picture. I took that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Is he a part of the crew? Yes. He is. He's yeah. been in oh, some of the biggest he's, videos. He's honestly. the founding one of the founding members founding of the crew. Member. All right, would you yeah. say hey, hey, this, really is the, this is the thing about Fan Jerry? If he's in a video, it's three. It's a shitload of views. It's a guaranteed banger video. Yes. No matter what, he, yeah. every fans love him. He's kind of like the lovable loser type. And he's uh, he's just a character. He's really himself. And uh, he's cute. Yeah. Yeah, I'm down. He's he's R- Rara Dude. thinks he's cute. Yeah. They, they're oh, down. Man. My dream man is Theo Vaughn. Swear oh, to God. Oh shit. I really? want to have his baby. He's good. I just watched his new special. I'm not real funny. Oh, he's got a new one. He's his got a new podcast oh, is great. Oh. His, his rants are great. So he's got a. I heard he's got a fat cock too? Cock too, which is disheartening. I, I, I a stripper. A stripper told me. A stripper told me he has a giant cock. Yeah, giant. Dude, I. He seems like he'd have a giant cock. I just. Do you guys like giant cocks, or how do you feel about? I like average. I like average. Like they said that in the last pod. Sky, oh, yeah. Sky said that in private, though. So I, I she said that in private too. I yeah. really do enjoy average because average, you can put me in any position yeah. and fuck me as hard as you want. Yeah. But when it's too big, sometimes when you get in like doggy style, it fucking so hurts because it's it hitting hurts. your stomach. Yeah. Mm, Jesus, I get that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. King Croc does have a big cock. Too bad it's not going to come into play when these girls tear your ass up. <laughs> I'll jerk it at the same time. Ooh. Mm. Oh, there we All go. All right, let's start from there. Hey. 
right. I like that. No, no, we're no, starting no, with starting. the dildo up your ass, yeah. and then we're going to move to jerking it. And we, it's up to her, her discretion, to what size she picks in the dildo. Oh, we, yeah. We don't, right? I mean, it's up to what? you guys. Can you say dildo roulette king croc? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, that would be actually, that no. would be fair. He's got to roll get, the we dice. We can get a dread mold. Oh, oh, dread mold. oh, yeah. All right, hold oh, on. Oh, you know who hold dread on. is. He's hold big on. in your, in, he's big. Hold on, hold he's on. He's a black okay, on okay. black crime I king. I got carried away with the joke. I got carried away with the joke. But to be honest, like, if this is a serious consideration for OnlyFans, it will never happen in a billion years. I'm sorry. I'm Listen, gonna do that. You're gonna, we're going to make a mold off Danny D's dick. Have you ever swore to Danny D? It's the biggest oh, white, was... the biggest no. white snake in the business, dude. And Bree is Sky Bree. I, I always Thank switch. You. Your, I always use your names interchangeably. Sky Bree is going to. It's going to look like it's a part of her own body, dude. And it's just I feel like disappear. people are really going to think that I would take a dick up my ass now. Like, you, like people. Come really on, well, you that. just went on the record. We're not going to edit it out. I know you did that for your community. You're all. You're good. They're going to watch the entire podcast. They're going to be like, oh, man, he's he gay. Oh wait, no, he said he wouldn't. He's good. <laughs> no, nah, they never watch that. Bro. Bro, so that, so that. they're gonna watch the clips, and the clips, yeah, the oh, clips are gonna look a little. Ass, you gotta start somewhere, but yeah, they're bro, gonna, gonna think. <laughs> yes, they're gonna think that you're gonna take it up the ass, but King, whatever. I, I, King I will Rocket, never take it right up now, the ass, dude. Bro. Do you? You don't understand. The prostate is the male G spot. Facts. You know, I was thinking earlier when you said you went to go get checked at the prostate doctor. Mm-hmm. I'm literally, I'd rather just die with prostate cancer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm that is a take, dude. That is a straight man take. No, I'm just kidding. Right, what do you mean? What do you mean hot? That's what if joke. it's like an anime Asian chick doctor? Oh, they're, 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 I'm fine. She wants that. to put a couple fingers up your ass? Wait, to save my life? Absolutely. Yeah. Are you the type that you don't even wash your ass because it's gay? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I do feel sus in the shower when, when I'm like spread, spread and I'm just like, you know what I'm saying? It's, oh, I feel wow. sus. You can't even but proper hygiene. No, no, I, no, I, I slightly homo. You gotta wash your assholes if you don't. Well, I'm telling you girls right now, Slide. if we do a show where we play dildo roulette <laughs> with Van and Jerry. you double team Van Jerry, <laughs> yes. that is gonna sell. Yeah, Guys, that is the, that's an insane video. That's an insane video. Um, <laughs> that would be unbelievable. I'll have to. I'll get on the phone with him and start kind of. He'll do Suggesting. It. I think he will. Ooh, I, he really? Let me, he only put a. Uh, I, what is it? Uh, what's the thing I put up his like ass? Like an enema or uh, something? He only put an enema mm. up his ass. Yeah, that was so a video. I'm a guy. <laughs> For a video? For a video, For a video. <laughs> yeah. Is that the title? Is that in the title it's of pretty that video? Yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great video. So, girls, what's uh, what's been new? Any scenes you're excited about? Anything crazy happen in your lives you can talk about? I actually haven't done a scene in like a month. Yeah, two months. Two months almost. Took a little break, traveled Europe. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. And then are you you, you transitioning out of doing scenes? Oh, no. Just need a little break. Traveled. Moving into her building. Nice. Yeah, we're, we're, both of our leases are up at yeah. the same time, so we're trying to move into yeah. a different apartment. Different building? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are you guys going to live together? Or? No. no. Oh, wow. Yeah, your old one in Hollywood, I remember it was nice, but it was really shady, the area outside. Yeah, super shady. Yes. There's like homeless, there's a whole homeless community right on the right on the block. Well, at least they have a community. Where are you moving to? <laughs> Probably Beverly Hills. Ooh. I like that. And can you tell us richer men? Roughly where where are you girls at now? Is it a hundred grand a month, two, three, four, five hundred grand a month? It's, it's doing it's we're going it's pretty good. It's going mm-hmm. pretty good. I make uh, just over half a million a month. Jesus. Mm-hmm. You can afford to live in Beverly Hills with that sort of income. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah I think you should be probably, yeah, I would say yeah, and protected in, in a good building mm-hmm. too, yeah. Mm-hmm. In Beverly Hills. When did you start actually spending your money because I make literally like a month ago a month ago so I my first year moving to LA always said I wanted to live broke because I didn't want to be one of those people that just spends all of their money right away Mm -hmm. so uh just I'd say like two weeks ago I bought a car I bought, you a, got? I bought a Porsche Macan, stars wow. in the roof, Ooh. all of it. Wow. It's beautiful. How's it looking? Did you see it? Boy? No, I haven't seen it. Which one's the Oh, wait, that was the one you were in. Yeah. Uh, it's a oh. Porsche Macan Turbo. People wow. And I have it wrapped it nice. and all careful that. It is so beautiful. That bed. That's a fast girl. Yeah, it is. It's really fun. Bed. Porsche Macan. And she's a wait, really bad you are, driver. Yeah, I was going to say. Very bad. Drive. She's a bad driver. Very bad. I knew it. Be careful. For 24 hours, she almost crashed it. Yeah, actually, almost hit. Oh, my gosh. I almost hit someone on a bike on the way here. Oh, my God. She's such a bad driver. <laughs> I, bikes. I hate those guys. Everybody bro. who rides a bicycle is a what, King Croc? Bitch ass nigga. That, what do you want me to say? Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I want to say. <laughs> yeah. And how Anytime much was this thing? This guy, how much was this? Um, 120. Yeah, 120. 120. So yeah. it is, because I think you could probably buy the base model of one of these for like 70, but you yours is wrapped. just pimped out. Right, wow. you got the stars in the I wanted the best. Ceiling. 
Nice. Okay, so this thing is sweet. And Does it kind of look like a mom car? Yes, thing? that's what I wanted, like a bougie oh, mom car. Okay. Yeah. Nice. They're still dope, though. When we went to Vegas and we did stunt driving in Ferraris, when we scouted the course, they drove these. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Because they're really fast, but they're also comfortable. Right. Mm. So you splurged a little bit. You got yourself a car. I imagine your apartment you're going to be upgrading. It, oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. For what sure. are you looking at? Uh, just like a two bedroom. She wants her mom to move. Yeah, in I'm with actually her. gonna move my mom out yeah. and wow. have her be my personal assistant. I remember you told me that when your mom found out you were doing porn, she was pissed at first, but you promised her you would retire her. Right. Yes. So, so she she still doesn't. She's not a big fan of it, but she gets recognized sometimes. Like she still is from my home, like lives in my hometown, so people will come up to her and be like, "Is your daughter Sky Bree?" Yeah. So she like <laughs> feels kind of cool. But uh, you think she'll do a scene mm. with King Croc? I'm trying oh. to convince her to, to do, do an OnlyFans. Only yeah, because her mom's what? hot. Her mom has her she has boobs big, done. big fake titties. Yeah. Nice. How is yeah. the market for the Those older women in, in in the OnlyFans market? I think I'm, milf porn does really well. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Kendra Lust is a baddie. Yeah. So I guess I want to talk through this. I think it's good for people to hear about the lifestyles of people who are making money because when you're not making money yet, it's hard to know that it's possible. Right, right. And if you don't know that it's possible and you don't hear and see people with money, it's it's going to be harder to get to having money because it's like walking on water or doing magic. It just seems so impossible. Mm-hmm. So tell me a little bit about how your apartment is going to look and where it's going to be and what kind of building it's in. Um... I'm really big on a nice kitchen. I want a big kitchen, a full island. Uh, I collect Legos, so there's definitely going to be a lot of Legos on display, and Legos aren't fucking cheap. They're very expensive. expensive. Um, But I live, honestly, very within my means. I don't like, I'm not like a baller, and neither are you. Like, we were very just frugal. Yeah. What's rent going to be? I'm looking at like 6K, which I think which is, is actually good. not that much. The top of the yeah, game, yeah. I think for like a two bedroom, the top would be 10 or 11K. And then at that point, it's like, Jesus, you might as well buy a house, right? Yeah, exactly. That's why there. I was looking at penthouses and stuff, but I don't feel comfortable spending that much a month mm-hmm. on an apartment when I don't own it versus like mm-hmm. getting a house. But I'm not ready for a house yet just because security reasons. Yeah. Like people show up places her. Yeah. That's why you got to hire our places. man King Croc. Yeah, he's he opening security, a private yeah. security private business. Security firm. Get you another really? security guard for him, though. Just sure. get another one right behind him, too. <laughs> 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 Kidding. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm messing with you. But no, that's a, yeah. a good point you bring up, Sky. It's something I think about, too, because sometimes I <laughs> like to grab a cup of coffee, hop on Zillow, and be like, oh, yeah, house above Sunset Boulevard. Right. Imagine just stumbling back from the bars, hammered, pool overlooking the city, get your cock sucked on the edge of the infinity pool. Mm. Mm. Oh, that sounds good good huh right. but you're right like <laughs> if somebody leaks your i don't even know how it happens like your address when maybe some guy There's delivers you an amazon websites. package who jacked yeah. off to one of your videos the night before mm-hmm. yeah. and then that guy goes on fucking reddit and that guy shares yeah. your address mm-hmm. rah rah or sky and then some dude with a screwdriver is going into your window one night <laughs> It's a lot of Postmates. The Postmates and Uber Eats. I feel oh, like. you yeah, keep you're it right. Yeah. Those are shady. Yeah. Sure. Citizens app. I want to yes. ask a, a sincere question. How do you two ladies feel about gun control? You know, because when I think about women in your situation, high earners, you know what I'm saying, living potentially alone, I feel like you need a peace with you at all times. I grew up like a country girl, so I've always grown up around guns. Okay, so, so you're more I, comfortable. Yeah, I'm more comfortable. That's with sick. Guns. King Grog, what are you doing right now? No, I just <laughs> um, uh, just hearing that story, I'm like, yo, they gotta have a strap. My grandpa I know had a shooting really... range on his property, so I'm like, that's so I mm-hmm. support it. Yeah, that's, well, that's cool. Do you, and um, so I you want guns? You have guns? Want I grew them? grew up around guns. My whole family collects them, but I've personally never even shot a gun. I like know. We were in Joshua Tree last week, and I was like, can we go to a shooting range? And she was like, I don't know. I actually, I just filmed, uh, I was in a music video like four days ago. I was like the lead role, and I um, I shoot the rapper in it. Like, I kill him <laughs> at the end. And it was a prop gun, but I was still scared to hold it. I don't know why. They just freak me out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. And and there's like, a lot of gun accidents, I mean, that's, yeah, to be fair. Yeah. I mean, that's been in the right. news lately, old Alec. You can't yeah. be too sure that your gun's safe. Just smoked somebody on set. Man. King Croc, <laughs> if you and Rara, who grew up around guns, if you guys went out to Joshua Tree and you went shooting, I mean, would you know the proper A-frame stance? Would you know how to clear the weapon? Would you know how to clean it? Absolutely. I don't think that's true. <laughs> Why? Why don't you think <laughs> it's true? Because I feel like you're a city boy. 
And what's more, I think you're a mama's boy. No, I'm I've actually, I, I went to uh, Colorado yeah. on the Big Homie's Ranch for about two weeks. Who's the Big Homie? One of my Christian mentors, actually. You have a mentor in Christianity? When I was a big yeah. Christian scientist. I don't know if you guys I have heard of the Christian you're, Science. I hope you're not paying this, man. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you heard of Christian Science? Church Christian of Scientology? Christian <laughs> Science. Not <laughs> Scientology. See, we Scientologist? Always, bro, Dianetics, I hate that shit. Scientology, I don't fuck with Scientology. Christian Science is normal Christianity with a lady named Mary, Mary Baker Eddy. And she was a great woman. I mean, she really just gave Jesus his on. teachings much better. Look into it. Why Christian is science. science, though, involved with Christianity? Mm. I'm confused. Because there's a method. There's a logic, and it's not bullshit. You okay. know what I mean? Right. It's, I, it's I understand now. Right. I understand every facet Deep of Christian science. science. And really, guys, <laughs> Christian science is not that mainstream. Leo, you might not know what well, it just is. Well, tell us, like, why it's... How, tell us exactly really, it's, how it's different than Christianity. It's a religion for the elites. I'm not going to be... There was um, a Christian science church <laughs> by uh, in Studio we City. We say we want to join Scientology. Why? For, like, a day. We, we fuck want Tom Cruise? to infiltrate yeah. and fuck them oh, on wow. camera for mm. OnlyFans because wow. it's never been done before. They come up to us on Hollywood Boulevard all the time. Mm. Oh, We've wow. actually... Even just for, like, a week, a couple days, like... We've looked into buying like the little uniforms. They we wear would and be getting the type that would join in them, mm -hmm. but they might come after us, and we might go missing. They that. are scary. They're we don't know who they are. If we were in the sixties and seventies, we would have joined a cult. I oh, feel for like. sure, we would have been one of the Manson Mansons. Mansons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I just cute. know that. Yeah. yeah, that's just crazy. I'm reading. <laughs> I'm doing some research right now for a project we're doing, and I'm reading about Joseph Smith and Mormonism. Mm. And oh. he's one mm. of those guys yeah, who bad. is, he was a good looking guy who was good mm. with people, right. complete con artist, but he just believed in himself so much. And I'm sure this has happened to you girls. And it's, it's happened to me when I didn't have a penny to my name and I was living with my parents. But sometimes if you're just having a good night and you're in the zone, you're just saying all the right things and your energy's right. And you can charm a woman way out of your league. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, Joseph right. Smith and Charlie Manson, they had the ability to do that. Yeah, mm -hmm. cult leaders are always really good with people. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 And Joseph Smith, despite being like having to go to court for being a treasure digging fraud, he would take peep stones around and say he could find buried silver. Well, after several people paid him a bunch of money to locate lost silver mines and he couldn't find a fucking scrap of silver for any of them, they hauled his ass to court and he had to pay reparations. What's his next discovery? The golden plates that contained the Book of Mormon, of course. Mm. He chose uh, a more lucrative business than finding silver. He started a religion. And of course, he's just such a charismatic guy. Everybody fucking hopped on board. People were dying for him. The chicks were fucking him. He had like 16 wives and a bunch of babies. Mm -hmm. But let's be honest though, Mormons are pretty base, right? You know, based meaning they're conservative. Well, they're cool, yeah. Yeah, I don't fuck with Mormons. Why not? What? I saw a documentary on Netflix that basically was. Yeah, I grew really up disturbing. with Mormons. Yeah. I grew up with you grew Mormons. Up Amish, no, I so <laughs> I, I'm from we're Amish people, but one of my oh, wow. uh, best friends growing up, all throughout mi elementary school, middle school, and even into high school, she was Mormon, and it was always really freaky going over to her house because like their whole family. Well, first off, there were like ten children, and they would all like look me up and down. I got in trouble one time because my like my bathing suit bottoms were showing too much ass. And <laughs> <laughs> they sent me this whole like paragraphs and paragraphs after I left and they were like you know you're better than that like you need to cover up more blah 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 and I think that actually might be why I got into porn I'm a little bit traumatized by the <laughs> that Mormons is the oh, wow. they don't <laughs> but they're, I don't like they're Mormons hypocrites much, though because yeah, I don't know that much they're about hypocrites because you know that Part of being a Mormon is is just banging a lot of fucking yeah. different chicks all the Remember time. The Mormon TikTok yeah. drama with the mom. Yes, that was so fun. <laughs> yeah, the fundamentalist Mormon Church. So yeah. I think around the early 1900s, the Mormons were still practicing plural marriage. So the dudes would basically, that was the point of the religion. It's like, yeah. a lot of people said the point of Catholicism was just to fuck a bunch of young boys. They were somewhat joking, but Mormonism, that really seemed like the big perk, is yeah. dudes got to just dominate a village and fuck like 16 chicks. Mm -hmm. Well, the U.S. government started raiding Utah and fucking with them. And they realized, like... I don't know, it's sort of like YouTube today. Like, if YouTube gives you a couple strikes and it's like, hey, fucking straighten up or we're going to ban you from the platform, you've got to play ball or disappear. Well, the Mormon church decided to play ball, and they're like, we'll get rid of the polygamy thing. I'm sorry, Joseph Smith said to do it, but okay, yeah, we're not, we're done, no more. 
However, a bunch of people broke off into places like Arizona and Canada and Mexico, and they still, they call it FD, Fundamental Latter, FLDS, the Fundamental FLDS, Latter-day yeah. States. Oh, wow. And they are still doing plural marriage, and it's super gnarly. It's they're disgusting. really so, inbred. They're yeah. fucking their daughters. <laughs> Yeah, that's gross, man. It's pretty fucked. If you so search LDS, Utah. like the Leo and Danny show, a bunch of Mormon stuff shows up. Oh, nice. That's good. Well, we're, we're driving people towards the light. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's good. And plural marriage. Yeah, it's it's an issue. And then now, speaking of them being based kink rock, them being mm. conservative, it's actually pretty funny. A lot of people, not a lot of people, a couple of people I saw on YouTube are leaving Mormonism because it's not based enough. Oh, wow. So God. even... <laughs> even are, they going, are, they going, are they going to mus- the Muslim religion? Maybe. <laughs> yeah. It's Where women can't drive. It's more women, based. These girls that have their heads cut off are wearing oh, these God. outfits. <laughs> you haven't had the Saudis hit you up and want to fly you guys out? Dubai, literally a couple of weeks ago, we got offered twenty k each to go to Dubai, Ooh. and we turned it down. Who for how long? That's nothing for you guys. It was though. four days, twenty k to go to Dubai, twenty k each, and we declined. Damn. Damn. I just put a business email in my uh, Instagram bio, and I, I think I woke up to an email this morning, uh, a guy offering to fly me out to Dubai for hmm. money. I'm and like, that like, just sounds so. Is sus. that trafficking too, though? Oh, for I mean, sure. Really chance, right? yeah. And we're also you can't bring back over ten k. Right. So how does so how's that gonna work? It was gonna be twenty k each for. Four days. Hmm. Oh, Bitcoin. Wow. I don't do that. You know, do well, I don't know how it works either. No. <laughs> but if but we you, didn't do it. If a guy, what if a guy that you met who was like a six, just an average guy who had kind of poor social skills, what if he offered you twenty k for a weekend in Palm Springs? We've, We've done rob him. We've done that a few times. Really? Yeah. Oh. Interesting. Wait, and what? Did you, one, somebody said <laughs> robbed him over there. Oh, she said robbed. When I say we did that, <laughs> it happened one time, and we didn't actually have it's relations. A few times. Okay, was this guy really unattractive or just really weird? No, it was just like an old man that was like stupid. Mm. So he it was four was- eleven. <laughs> and he was a doctor. We knew he wasn't going to do anything. Mm-hmm. So we met up with him off Sunset in a hotel room. And then we... It was like a motel. It was... Oh. So I was insulted, honestly. Oh, no. That's the main reason we robbed him. <laughs> She's like, it was The Sunset <laughs> then, She's like... Well, I mean... <laughs> and then that's we, what he gets. We did our whole, like, hi, how are you? And then we're like, we have to go get lube out of the car. But made sure he paid us before and then blocked his number and dipped. Oh. <laughs> how much did he pay you? You know, Roughly, <laughs> it, was, it was 10k. Yeah, you girls <laughs> look, Danny. Uh, I, I mean, a job. I, I mean, I that's I don't feel great about this. I want to, <laughs> I'm going to play <laughs> this is what I'm going to play four foot 11 doctor's advocate right now. Okay, we'll do his He has a wife though, so that's there we go. Fuck him, dude. <laughs> Fuck him. It just yeah, he works long hours, they grew apart. Listen, dude, he should have. What, what, what was his? It was, must have been his first ball game. You got to fucking wait. You know, you pay out. No, after. definitely. I don't think it was. Well, definitely was. We went to oh, Rodeo wow. Drive right afterwards, though. Damn. Wow. <laughs> Damn. And 10K That's on dope. Rodeo Drive is like a bracelet and a credit card holder. <laughs> nah, you can't get you can much get over it, there. You can get that. a lot of You can get a lot of fucking. Dude, I went. What'd you guys get at, on Rodeo? I bought a bag. That's so nice. I got a bag. Yeah. Those are good for. I mean, they, they hold their value, too. Like, right, uh, right. Per, you can resell them. Purses are fucking legit, dude. They're assets, huh? They're assets. Assets, yeah. well, I went to Rodeo recently to buy my girlfriend a present for her birthday, and I think I went right after going for a run. So I am in shorts, like knee socks, like Saucony running shoes, dude. I look like shit. And I'm waiting in line outside of Chanel. And a Damn, dude, Chanel's. I don't even have a Chanel bag. Well, well you, you, you you treat treat your buy her I got her a nice purse, but it Aww. wasn't a bag. But when I'm waiting in the line outside, a security guard comes out dressed in a three-piece suit, looks me up and down, and I can see the judgment in his eyes. And he's like, sir, there will be a 45-minute wait. Are you sure you would not like to come back tomorrow? And I go, oh, no, I'm already here. Because in L.A., I'm not going to drive out to Rodeo like on back-to-back days. I'm nah. fucking there. Yeah. And he's like, oh, okay, sir, if you're sure. And then, of course, he comes back like five minutes later and lets me in. Because the 45-minute thing was just an excuse to get my ratty-looking ass out of there. Mm. And I go in there, and you can tell there's a like a really... Like prissy, uh, like 
bitchy gay guy who ends up being my associate. And he's like, okay, so what are you looking for today? And I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm just looking for a purse. I'm looking to spend about $700. And he's like, oh, $700? Yeah, you're going to have to go to Gucci or Prada if you want something for $700. <laughs> no, we have a couple uh, credit cash. card holders. Here's this little small chocolate one. Okay, is there anything else I can help you with? And I'm like, all right, dude, I'll bump it up to pay whatever it is for a wallet. And then even when I bought the wallet, just no respect. Mm -hmm. Just no, if you're not a Saudi or yeah. like the the bimbo wife of a Chinese billionaire. Yeah. There to buy like a whole new wardrobe. They don't give a fuck about you. Well, they're <laughs> working on commission. You know what I mean? Have you Are ever you yeah, have you had a sales job? I mean that's not at you. To Chanel. I would hate you. I'd be like, get out Dude, of here. I bought a fucking thousand dollar purse. Yeah, I know. You Water. know what I made? I made thirty dollars off that, buddy. I can't even fucking pay for the parking. With that, <laughs> that'd be pretty fucking funny. It's kids, usually, like, it's usually tickets. between. I would say it's between five to ten percent. So a maximum, you made a hundred bucks on that. Plus, is yeah. hourly. And if it was not, nah, ten percent would be wild, it, dude. Ten percent would be wild. It would yeah, be. There's probably no five percent. Mm -hmm. He made fifty bucks on it. Okay, well that's he should be fucking happy. Well, let's bucks. call. You should. We should do a video. We should go back and f motherfuck that guy. Dude. Yeah, I'd be. It might be considered a hate crime because he he was a homosexual. He's gonna be careful these days. Mm -hmm. And it had nothing to do with that. It was just he didn't respect me as a customer. Well, it's glad to know you guys are ripping off <laughs> short doctors. Well, but, that's done though. Those are those those bandit days are in your past now, right? I mean, you guys are or you're still looking for opportunities to be the bandits, dude. You guys should have a nickname for it. Something yeah. bandits, the fucking... The bling ring, part two. <laughs> the bling yeah. ring, Ooh. part two. <laughs> now, what if King Croc, what if he comes at you with some money and he insists no pegging, no cameras, he just wants to... He's got a big black cock. He does yeah, have Yeah, listen, that. I know it might hurt a little, but I'm going to oh. give you 20K. For two days. Two, two days. days. Two days is a lot. You gotta you go three night. hours. Is that a lot? Yeah, do three hours. They're yeah. making, they're making 500 dollars Yeah, you're right. All right. You all gotta right. go two hours. An hour. Two, two hours. Uh, uh, 10K an hour. 10K an hour. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what? That's a big What would you do without Leo? <laughs> Listen, and guess what? Guess what? Um, you know, if you you like chocolate? Mm hmm You like chocolate? Mm -hmm. I'll have some chocolate waiting for you. I'll have some drinks. Is that a commentary on your yeah, skin that, color? Are you what are you talking that, about? Is that an African American thing? What's going on? <laughs> it is what it is. But I'm saying it's going to be a that, comfortable and fun. Is time. that what you love, girls? Is that you love to find a C's candy bar on the pillow? <laughs> I feel like it's a really nice that. treat. I like some champagne. Champagne, wine, I got you. Yeah. Well, uh, red or white? White. I saw uh, I saw on your story you were watching Gladiator and you made yes. like you you made a post like hey you know that's like one a of my favorite movies movie. it's such yeah. a good movie yeah that's it's my great. dad's so maybe favorite it's a movie. film you need to break what if he what if he Ooh. had a great like what if he had Braveheart on a fucking big screen he's like if you like Gladiator you gotta like Braveheart you know to be honest that awesome. might scare me a little bit mm. walking no. into that situation with like mm. a bloody ass <laughs> movie playing like doesn't isn't that what happens in the, the new Jeffrey Dahmer uh, he would put the exorcist he's on he's playing the exorcist yeah well that's I mean it's not a horror movie it's it's you know it's a sword and sandal movie yeah. what if he wanted you to peg him to Brokeback Mountain King Cross <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, King. Sky. He did go see Bros this weekend, though. He, he did. did. He uh, did. He went saw Bros alone. It was a great movie. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, you hated it, right? We watched your Adam Twenty Two thing. You guys ripped it. To no, shreds. no. We, I, I don't feel like. Because I have no problem with the movie. It's just one of the guys who was in it talked shit about all straight people for being homophobes or having not seen it, which Whoa. is so childish. Like, imagine if you put out a blast on Twitter for, like, a new OnlyFans video you did, and then you started talking shit to people for not buying it. Right. Like, you would seem like a psycho chick. Right. And right. he seemed like a psycho dude for calling out all these various places in America for supposedly being homophobic. Dude, I don't go to the movies anymore. I'm was not a homophobe, I just don't go. Um, I didn't actually watch it. Oh, you I, didn't was, watch that. I was fucking with you guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> he actually did. Can I say something? Yeah. yeah. I am a huge fan of Sledge Lords. Oh, I've, yeah? I've oh, my God. seen the, every we watch single it, literally. episode. Yeah. Oh, wow. I, always when we're doing our makeup, we yeah, always put it on. I took my mom to Hawaii two weeks ago when mm -hmm. I was playing your, one of the episodes with uh, while we were getting ready, and my yeah. mom was laughing at it. Oh, and wow. She thought you were hilarious. So, what's your favorite part? What is it? Is it uh, Danny's witty comments? Just or? How it's whenever you talk about fat bitches. No. Wow. <laughs> it's whenever you talk about fat bitches, That's Danny. That's so funny. Well, um, there's plenty of material on the internet of me doing or that. Or specifically about people complaining because they can't fit into an airplane seat. That was our oh. last favorite, yeah. yeah. Dude, do, do we even talk about that? My mind is just an edge of sketch when I'm on these shows. I don't even know what I'm saying. Did, it's it can Monday. be scary. Did you film it on Mondays? Did you film an episode mm -hmm. today? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Yeah, but it's scary because I just don't know what I say after I go on a show sometimes. You black out. Yeah. I just black you guys, out. You guys right. seem to have scary. the podcasting bug. Do you guys really like podcasting? Yeah. yeah. yeah it's got to be one of the most... We're uh, doing another Barstool one tomorrow. Yeah. I like gotten, being no. funny. You've gotten trying. a lot better. You girls are... Yeah. I, yeah, I feel like you're way more natural mm-hmm. now. Like you're like you're you're getting it. You're killing it. It's mm-hmm. uh, It's a totally like a rep thing. If you do it enough times, it becomes like... I don't know. You, you get in like a zone and it's really fun. Like you can forget about all your problems and, and you're like living in the moment, which is nice. I'm off my phone. Yeah. It sounds right. like... A, it sounds like Leo right there. It seems like that was a veiled life is finite speech. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Leo... <laughs> <laughs> you know, he the way he gets girls to blow him is he has these lines where he's like, you ever just think about how it's all going to end someday and life is finite, you know? So if we're not promised tomorrow, why not just do exactly what we want to do? Well, we only have, I mean, the present, right I mean, the future doesn't exist no, and the past doesn't exist. We really do only have the current moment. And I'm mm-hmm. sure you ladies with the choices you've made in your lives, I mean, I'm sure you've realized that, that yeah. the only yeah, moment is sure. the one right ahead of us. Yeah. yeah, it seems yeah. like that. I think, I think Sky realized that when she was sucking <laughs> rah rah shit off Jake Paul's <laughs> index finger. <laughs> <laughs> Which he must have really loved. That. Whoever that guy was must have been very happy when that happened. Oh my god! Can, can no, you guys they, tell they, the guy didn't know? Oh really? What? Yeah, the guy. The didn't room know. smelled like shit though, so I will uh, say that. Oh my god! Usually you get like a maybe a little odor when you're down. No, no, no. There. Usually you get like a you know if you're gonna be doing ass play. We didn't get the warning before, right, you so you can you can prepare. Yeah, like, there was just, no. We and didn't I get actually, the, I think you took a shit like ten minutes <laughs> before. That was. Oh the my issue. god! Is that a pregame shit? I mean, I get that. You're a little nervous. You know, you gotta go. Yeah. No, usually when we I mean, go. David on vacation, Dobrik's a big star. You know. Yeah. <laughs> When we I hope it wasn't David <laughs> fucking Dobrik. God damn it. Me I would piss me off if it was David Dobrik. I, I just want David Dobrik because he's been canceled. And he's yeah. kind of disappeared. You can tell he doesn't like the heat. I just want him to come oh. to the dark side and I get start so much really pussy. showing his sense. Yeah, I want him to like admit that he had a threesome yeah. with uh, Ra Ra and Sky. We're going after Aiden Tower. Ross next. That's our next threesome target. I'm sure he'll be down. Yes. So Dobrik Leo. has... Just saying. And Leo. And Leo. Leo who? Leo D'Otavio? <laughs> <laughs> what Leo? There's you bigger done? Leo YouTubers, dude. This Leo. We Leo. Talk about it. Lucky <laughs> day. We've been though. trying to figure out our next targets. Yeah, on the way here, we were discussing a little bit. I would bit. love it if you guys hooked up with Leo. You guys are crazy. Yeah. You want to? <laughs> Is it on Leo, video? Uh, you guys have to no, no, rapidly fill in with blood. Our are not on video. Uh, you know, I, I've been kind of talking to my ex, and... Uh, she would the ex that got hit by a car no that was a joke <laughs> we were lying about that no but I've been I've been hanging out with her and uh, you know I well if that doesn't work out because mm-hmm. she's already your ex so I mean yeah, you know won't. we we have a, a it's it's an interesting relationship it's it's back okay. and forth it's up and down so did you cheat on her why did you I did break I, cheated, up? I cheated on her yes we're cheaters yeah you guys are cheaters so <laughs> to our core <laughs> so clearly but uh, Leo you've got the will you got the willpower to resist these two ladies, yeah, right? I can say no. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Not a fucking chance in hell I can answer. Can I ask you girls, if you did have sex with Leah, would you film it? Or no, would it we'll be do just... it for free. Yeah. Oh, wow. You, you would fuck Leo for free, no cameras? <laughs> If we Leo just the 10k. If he booked yeah, a room, need the 10k, dude. If he booked a room, I'm serious now. I'm being serious. is pretty comfy. We can do it right. If Leo after the podcast, if he kicked everybody out except for King Croc because he wanted to show King Croc a couple moves, oh, and he yeah. wanted to have sex with you girls just a quickie before you guys left, would you let him do it? Oh, yeah. Do a little suck. Stop <laughs> it, guys. This is a ploy. There's Does a bulge Adam, in his pants I think, I think right Adam, now. I can I think, see it. I think, <laughs> Adam, I, I think Adam 22 put him up to this or something, dude. You think so? This is a ploy. Oh, yeah. So we have it's material for Sledge Lords. It's a setup. <laughs> yeah, it is, dude. It's a setup, you little bastard. This is all us, baby. I think I think Sky's riding high after buying her new Porsche, <laughs> and I think she's moving to Beverly Hills, and she's realizing, hey. Well, uh, look, I, I'm. You, you know what? I mean, I, I'm flattered. Thank you, ladies. It's very nice just, of you guys. Yeah. Say think that. about it. The offer's on the table. Is all we're all saying. All right. Well, thank you. Maybe. Wow. Maybe you'll get the uh, ex involved. Oh. Well, she's, she's a baddie. Yeah, she's a baddie. Been she's, turned down. she's a baddie. I'll show Thanks. you some pics. She is. Absolutely beautiful. You Good look, for you. Uh, no, you look you. like every cell in your body is hurting right now. <laughs> them down. I would. I mean, yeah. You know, it'd be even better if I had if if one of them ate my my girlfriend's or ex girlfriend's asshole too. Though that would even make that would make it a an even better occasion. So, mm-hmm. you know, getting her involved is the key here, Danny. <laughs> she's she's right. a good looking lady. So, yeah. can you guys tell me about, and I, I already know one of the stories, but I want to hear about some charity cases. The time <laughs> when you met a guy at a club and you were just in a crazy mood and you were like, this guy is a loser. He's not hot, but you know what? I'm going to make his year. 
I only fuck losers at this point, to be honest. <laughs> and they're Scott all, is being honest. They're all kidding. shorter <laughs> than me. They're all skinnier than me. What? Broke. I don't know what it is. I like a good charity case. Like it's something wow. about me, like helping them that I like. Do How do they you have? Them? Are they, do they have a decent personalities? Are they cool? Usually are they... not. Yeah, wow. usually not. Are they nervous around you? Yeah, super nervous. They I shake. think it's like a power thing for her. Oh, yeah. it's a power thing. It's probably oh, yeah. Domination. Yeah. So you're like the shark and you go eat the little... I like the idea of them being, being able to walk nervous. away from the situation and be like, wow, that's the baddest girl I'll ever yeah. be with. Like, that really just, like gets me going. And have you, where do you meet these guys? If they DM you when they're in LA, do you respond and fuck them? Um, usually out. Out, yeah, for sure. At so, parties. So yeah. you're the chick who, because King Croc, for example, and me when I was younger, guys don't innately have the ability to get women. Even if the guy's totally good looking. Like, if Leo, a guy looked like Leo, but he was 18 years old, he'd be a fucking idiot. A bum- <gasps> when you were 18, you were a bumble. I, was, I was an idiot. I didn't know anything. And, I would just, I knew baseball. That's it. And so when guys study how to get women or they get advice from older people they know, the thing that everybody always tells you is walk across the party and go talk to the girl you think is out of your league because you never know how it's going to go. Mm-hmm. And I feel like most of the time that advice is bullshit. If even I, who I've been around the block when it comes to getting chicks, if I went up to some girl at like a hip Bel Air party and started hitting on her, she would treat me like the guy treated mm-hmm. me in Chanel. Unless you're wearing that fur coat, buddy. Unless I'm, so I, mm-hmm. I don't like when guys come up to me. I like when I'm at a party and I can see them looking at me a lot and we keep like glancing at each other, making eye contact because then I like being the one to approach them and just like straight up being like, can I take you to the bathroom and suck your dick? Oh, oh my God. Wow. So don't come up to me like, like I want to be the one to come up to you but I like oh I like catch the vibe if they're just looking at me a lot and then it's usually like okay they're oh into me God. so you've never had a guy and maybe before you were like famous or whatever you never had a guy you just met that just like came up to you and you had a good conversation he was confident yeah, definitely, for sure. But more you, often, it's me picking the nerdy one out that's like okay. not talking to anyone. There's mm. never like a like a alpha type kind of businessman that that is like Bryce Hall. Oh, I love Bryce Hall. Do you yeah. know who that is? Yeah, yeah. yeah I fucking girl. love Bryce Hall. No, I haven't fucked him yet. He messaged me like two days ago, like I'm ready to fuck you. So <laughs> wow. maybe next time I'm here, I'll Bryce Hall wasn't deterred by the whole. 2017 uh, Me Too thing, dude. Uh, I guess he's one of the bigger ladies men in LA. I believe he's it. Dude. Not. He's not. Really? He's not. He's like, I think he's hot. He's, I love uh, Bryce Hall. He's yeah. hot. Yeah, I, I think he's a good-looking guy, and he's fucking rich and, and he's famous. And he's really funny. He's yeah. super, super funny. He doesn't give a fuck about like being That's canceled why we like him, and he doesn't stuff. Give a shit. Yeah. Like, damn, dude. Fucking put him in touch with us. Yeah. Uh, uh, he probably would Bryce fuck Hall with you. Yeah. He yeah. Would. One of the uh, one of his uh, buddies that used to live with him, B. Dave, said that he he's shown him our videos before. Oh, Bryce. Bryce, yeah. Bryce would love your videos. He, get, he loves the whole offensive, just oh. saying out of pocket yeah. shit. Do you uh, a kid who's a fan of our channel is uh, Madison Beer's brother, Ryder. Ryder. Love Ryder. Do you hang yes. out with him? Yeah. So the first night we met him, he came up to me and he was like, "You look familiar." He's like, "Are you the girl from the midget video?" Yeah. yeah. Wow. Oh. Shout out to Ryder, Ryder Beer, dude. What yeah. a yeah, he, Beer's brother. Yeah, he that. said he loves you. Yeah, yeah he's, he's cool. Dope. He's a really nice dude. He kills it. He's just a uh, handsome motherfucker who's always oh, just like jet setting back and forth between the Hamptons and here. You girls fucked him? No. No. Really? No. Okay. That's cool. Do well, you guys fuck anybody individually anymore? Yeah. Yeah, a lot. All right. So, but that, but the together is a thing. Like once a month, you said? Yeah, probably like once a month. You've been gone. I, we had a threesome a couple weeks ago. Yeah, a couple of weeks ago. I've been traveling on yeah. my own a little bit, so not super, super recently, but we fucked some rock star dude the other, the other week. What band? We <laughs> 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 play the 21 questions or whatever the game is. We're after Nickelback right now, actually. You want to fuck Chad Kroger? Nickelback actually reached out to us because oh. we were talking so guess about us, yeah. yeah we were talking about how much mm. we love them on a Barstool podcast and they reached out to them mm. and they were like we would love to put Ra Ra they're on like the sky. we're going on tour next year like oh. let us know what dates oh. yeah. please bring us yeah. can you guys do like a Backstreet Boy just just for the are they alive time still <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just for my generation you know get you know <laughs> so the rock star you fucked is it when was their heyday I want to do some oh my god current. they're current they're like thirty. Oh wow! They're thirty. Yeah, so it's current. Who's Danny a current knows. rock band like Greta Van Fleet? 
<laughs> no, that's... <laughs> Where are they from? Where are they based out of? L.A. What if it's fucking your boy, dude? Oh, what if dude, it's a guy that looks like you? It's the Who's your boy? Julian Casablanca's, <laughs> Julian Casablanca's fucking even the Strokes? No. <laughs> oh, my God. What, they're a current big mm-hmm. band? 30 mm-hmm. years old. Huh? I can't even mm-hmm. name any current rock bands. It feels like every rock mm-hmm. band that is important came from what before kind of rock? 2010. Like poppy, pop kind of mm-hmm. rock? Or? Like, I would say like hard. Yeah. Huh. Rock. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, are they big? Like and famous and rich? Pretty yeah. big. Yeah. Mm, big cocks. Ha- <laughs> it was nice, yeah. It was nice. So it was average. <laughs> That's what we like. You guys should go after fucking DiCaprio. Can you guys take DiCaprio down? Are we too old? I just I've tried. <laughs> I think yeah, we're too old now for him. He likes some yeah. freshly eighteen. Really? Yeah. yeah. You've seen him like out and about? Never seen him out No. He's mm-hmm. uh, like uh, through the years living out here, uh, young girls. He, b- he usually bangs girls that look like college age or like nineteen, right? Yeah. And then they've told I've heard numerous accounts that he wears headphones, and you mm, just no ride him. You just ride him, and he wears headphones. I mean, I guess he has sex so much. Like Another big wow. one is Scott Disick. I know a lot of girls mm-hmm. fuck him. We haven't gotten the mm-hmm. opportunity yet, but Scott Disick, good old dude. Scott Disick. What a legend that guy is. I got to give it up to him. Yeah, I saw an article. <laughs> I think he's Huffington playing a character Post. still. You know, his uh, whole life. I saw an article where they were talking shit about Scott Disick because he bangs younger girls. And yeah, chicks get pissed about that. Mm-hmm. Nowadays, yeah. I mean, it, nowadays you're just a sick fuck. Sky and Raw Rock, can you tell me about some? Uh, you don't have to be super detailed, but have you gone to the hyper exclusive Bel Air mansion parties where everybody there is A list? You have to sign an NDA. Have uh-huh. you been to those events? Yes, we and just we've went been to, to a s- the exclusive sex party. Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah. It's like 10k to get in, and wow. everyone's okay, like yeah. famous yep. and a stuff. A lot of people wearing masks. Damn! Wow! Yeah. And there are bi- like television people, and mu- music they're people. They're dead ass having sex on the staircase over here. Like everyone's getting head. Everywhere you look, someone's wow. getting head. Older men with wow. like 20 year old girls. Mm-hmm. Wow! Just under- yeah. Are the chicks famous, or are the chicks just really hot girls? I think the girls are getting paid to be with the men. With the yeah, men. it's mostly known men. I would. say say and just yeah. like pretty young girls every single room has a bed in it there's girls there's girls hired to work the events and yeah. they're like decked out like they have their makeup done they're super beautiful all like, naked mm-hmm. yeah. every girl there is super beautiful mm-hmm. like like top model mm-hmm. and uh that was my first time going that was her second, second yeah. right but that was that was really interesting i want to go back drugs on platters they See, like bring what? it out and offer yeah you, like literally on platters what kind of drugs <laughs> like blow Blow. Uh-huh. So this is, I want to talk about this because this to me is really the top of the world. If you're at it one was. of these parties. We were there and we were like, this is so. We didn't do anything we didn't though. Do anything, we yeah. went as watchers. Hmm. Being, yeah. Because hmm. it's a lot to take in. Mm-hmm. When King Crocky you should go as a watcher. <laughs> I'm sure they love it. Watch some people get but, packed out. Just, <laughs> but that is really, I've heard it said that that is the American dream to be doing cocaine in the Hollywood Hills with celebrities. Brett Easton Ellis, one of my favorite writers, said that. He wrote American Psycho. I love that guy. Mm-hmm. But that really does sound like, and I'm not saying that's happiness, but that sounds like the American dream to be at one of those parties. So you girls pull up. I imagine it's in Bel Air or Beverly Hills. Right, yeah. And it's at a 30 plus million dollar mansion. Yeah, yeah. huge. Like jetliner views of the city, mm-hmm. at the yeah. top of mm-hmm. the hill, yeah. modern mansion, pool in the backyard. Mm-hmm. And you walk in, all the chicks are naked, you're saying, that are working yeah. there. Yeah, right. They did a full sex performance too. Wow. And it was like, um, what would you call it? Like Greek goddesses they yes. were dressed as. And they like strapped a girl down to a table and fucked her with like a. What are those like called? a long rod, <laughs> like a long what? like Greek yeah. rod, and then thing. they put a, f- a butt plug funnel into her ass, and then multiple <laughs> guys jerked off into the f- like funnel all at once, and it all ass. just went down. And her then ass. everyone's just like watching it. And everyone's in like mass, like masquerade uh-huh. mass. That we'll seems get, like, like a spell, really bro. Intense, like, they cast in a spell or some shit. You might go to Christian Science Hell yeah. just for hearing about this. <laughs> like and super <sighs> intense music mm-hmm. the and whole what, time. Were sure you guys creeped out at all? Or? It's more like you just stand there and your eyes are just like... It's not... I don't think... E- either of us are into it we loved going as watchers and I would go again as a watcher but honestly I'm not really into like having sex in like a mansion where a bunch of people the whole thing was it's it's at your own risk right which is a little sus and what does that mean at your own risk that's just what they were like it's at your own risk they don't test probably for STDs Uh, yeah it's just yeah yeah. but what I feel like is crazy is I, I don't care how secretive this is I don't care if they take your phone NDAs it's crazy to me that, yeah. that dudes like Bill Maher yeah. or dudes like uh, Adam Levine are willing to go risk that. 
to go jerk off into a funnel into a chick's ass. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm not judging. But it just seems sketchy for A-list guys, given that they've all been hunted in the media mm -hmm. for doing shit like that. I think it's because they're so famous and they've already I mean, they done... a safe spot, too. Or they've just done everything they possibly could. They've fucked so many girls, so they need to go to the most extreme possible thing mm -hmm. to like get off. Like, right. That's all that's left. Mm. I, I worry about... You, Danny, because you're already a sick little bastard. Yeah. Ever if you got know, if you had fifty million dollars in the bank, I don't know what sex clubs you'd be going to. <laughs> I think they're in other countries. I think they're in other countries, <laughs> uh, primarily Guatemala. Yeah, you go to Guat. I mean, I'm going to Guatemala again. I'm like, what are you doing there, man? <laughs> well, they had a really good donkey scene. I'm like, oh. <laughs> The donkey scene uh, is just unbelievable. I'm there, they got the donkey scene. So I'm still fascinated by this. The girls, because I. I was talking to my girlfriend about this. I see a lot of chicks around LA at the swap meets, at the flea markets, that you can tell they're spending 90% of their waking hours thinking about their outfit and their social media mm -hmm. posts. We know those chicks. They just, they are just, all they have is what they're wearing and how many people liked their last Instagram right. photo. I wonder if it's those chicks that moved to LA just to be like hot girls. Are they going to these parties? Who are the chicks getting fucked? Who's the chick with the funnel in her ass, do you think? I think it's the girls that are scouting for like a rich old man to man to marry. Hmm. Oh. Honestly, Maybe like it's foreign? not trust fund girls going. Like the rich sure. LA trust fund girls mm -hmm. that like don't, have never worked a job in their life. It's not those type of girls. It's like Girls scouting, I would say, for like a rich old man. You think, or girls that students? are just honestly into doing like group stuff like Cause, that. Because Kazumi there are girls says she's into are. it. Kazumi says she goes yeah. for sport. Yeah, Kazumi's into it. that type of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, there are girls that love that. Mm. Yeah, because yeah, I, I, I don't know, maybe foreign girls, but you, it also might just be like a UCLA student chick who wants a rich husband, huh? I, I, I didn't know any of the girls personally yeah, there, the so girls I can't. Guess. Yeah, I don't really That's know. Strange. And they're tens. Like, how would you rank these? Beautiful. Girls? They're baddies. Yeah, yeah, a lot of them are beautiful. All hot. Gold yeah. diggers. But what's a ten for you guys? Because that differs to everybody. Like, what you guys are beautiful girls. Like, what's a ten? They look like us. There we go. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. King Croc. What? I, I'm actually curious. Well, that deserves a little bit more explanation. No, let's keep going the with the thing. Yeah. So, or we can continue with the. I still have sex party stories are wild. Yeah, so. because there's there's like two types of tens. I mean, there's probably more than that. There's a lot of variety for what guys will consider to be a perfect looking woman. Mm -hmm. There's the girls who are very bimbo esque, who have had all kinds of alterations to their hips, ass is fake, massive fake tits, like their face reconstructed. There's the bimbo looking. Some guys love that. Mm -hmm. Some guys like something in between, and then some guys, the girl next door is the 10. What's the typical girl you're seeing at these sex parties? I would say there's bimbo type girls, and then just pretty girls that look girl like us. Store, yeah. Yeah. Nice bot, like yeah. good bot, yeah. natural bodies, good Yeah, solid. there's a nice mixture because so that way you can, whatever you're into, that type of girl is there. So it's a good yeah. mixture. Yeah. King Croc, I'm going to say something right now that might be a little offensive. Well, go ahead. You get invited to one of these parties. <laughs> <laughs> First, you're scratching your head. You're like, me? You know, I'm, I'm on the Leo and Danny show. I'm like a featured player on a podcast. And they're like, no, you're coming. But then you find out maybe like on the eve of the party oh, God. that it's a, it's a Django-themed party. And guess what, buddy? Oh you're performing. <laughs> you're performing. But you're getting laid. And I don't got to do no gay shit? Oh, well, only straight. Only st well, no, I'll start off with only straight. <laughs> cool. oh. It's a lot of money. <laughs> Taking you out of debt. Forever. King Croc, you, if you just had to fuck chicks in yeah. front of, like, Stephen Colbert, you would do that, right? Yeah, I'd probably do it. <laughs> would you talk some probably shit to it. Colbert, though? Like, maybe <laughs> say, like, you're not based, you fucking pussy. <laughs> <laughs> no? Yeah, maybe it would. The King, would you fuck in front of these parties? Do you, if that's your ticket into the parties, you gotta fuck on the table. <laughs> that, yeah. You're in, dude. I would do it. I would do it. <laughs> and yeah, you're wearing a mask, though. Dude, I'll do it. Yeah, yeah. Put, put a mask on. It's cool. Yeah. Are you ladies totally worried good. that, like, your sex drive is only going up? I mean, we, like, any any wise man knows that women at 30 to 40 are hornier than 20. Really? To 30. Mm. Yes. I didn't know that. This is a fact. We have Wait, something how to look you, forward how old are you to. Guys? Then. I'm 23. They're, they're 24. Young. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, I remember just both, like then. the girls like, see, I, I'm 36. I went to, so the girls that were, that were kind of, you know, a little promiscuous at your age, 
they're pr- like if they're still single bet- now at my age, they're wilding like banging Ooh. young men like every I'm weekend. I'm going after the young guys. <laughs> yeah, mm. nineteen and twenty. Yeah, I you guys it. are probably going to be like That's forty year old chicks banging nineteen year old dudes, and you could do that forever. Yeah. And it's a, it's a good thing because the guys need like that those reps with an older like very skilled woman mm-hmm. when they're nineteen. Like mm-hmm. Dino would become a man in front of our eyes. He's, it's a shame that he's not here. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you remember Dino. It's Austin's brother, Dino from last. Last time, mm-hmm. but Little Dino bro. really needs to have sex with with a with I think like a real alpha type or just like a hot chick one yeah. time, you know? Right. It tells us he gets laid, but it's probably it's probably a sex doll he got off the dark yeah. web. Sex <laughs> once. It was one, yeah, exactly. It, it was once, you and know, in the last year and a half. It's probably know. dressed up like a female character from Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> but honestly, I don't know if they would like Dino just because. I they, think they would fuck Dino, maybe. Dude, well, maybe they're, they're probably not. Probably, I'm just saying Dino is pretty alpha. Like, he's pretty. He's pretty, uh, you know what I mean, confident. So mm-hmm. if, you, if no, you like the more no. shy guys. Dude, he is No, I mean type. off he's, camera. He's off like, camera. The, he wouldn't be able to make eye contact with them. He's like the cute little 19-year-old boy who's all shy. These girls would eat him alive. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, when he's sober, I guess. What is uh, well, Dan, Bil- sober, Dan actually, B we'll hasn't say. hit you guys up? Dan Bilzerian? He has, yes. Mm-hmm. You guys turn him down? Uh, yeah, I did. Mm-hmm. Good. Mm-hmm. I Why? Like I like that. You don't like damn zone? I don't know. I just don't want, don't want to go somewhere where I'm completely surrounded by girls. Like, I'd rather go somewhere where I'm completely surrounded by men. There we go. You know? Mm. And he's all, I mean, <laughs> cruise by this studio on any night of the week. <laughs> he, uh, Austin Schlosser and his band of fools. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Swolby One Kenobi and King Croc. What's up with him? Off editor. Swolby? What's up with the dude that showed us his dick? Is he still How's alive? He, did oh, you uh, again to the industry? Saltine. Dude. Is he still doing Uber Eats? Uh, so he's he doing Uber Eats. Okay. He's doing Uber Eats. No, he didn't get in the industry. He did have a big cock, that piece of shit. He hit me up recently for some advice with some chick he wanted to be exclusive with. So, you dude, know. Saltine. Damn. That's cute, yeah. What a terrible name, Saltine. That's what he gave himself. He's like, because he, <laughs> he said that cracker never crumbles? I believe that's what yeah. he was. <laughs> <laughs> He's pretty classic. Really I kind of wanted him back on today. That would have been actually funny. I should have done that. <laughs> well, the girls, would you be interested in shooting any like short form content for OnlyFans today? Yeah. Jesus yeah, Christ. for sure. Well, um, I'm trying to think what we could do. I might for my Patreon, if you girls don't mind. I'm at least getting a selfie with you girls. Okay. With um, you know maybe some boobs out. You got you know got to keep those people happy. And I'll of course send them to the OnlyFans. Thank God. But if you <laughs> so right now you have two single men. I'm thinking something kind of silly, you know, hand stuff, <laughs> sight gags, like maybe one of them flashes you a cock or something, or vice versa. I mean, it's maybe these. maybe you show Austin a nipple. But what do you think would be fun for some OnlyFans content for you girls? Uh, maybe some motorboat action. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay. What do you think about that? King Croc, you want to do a little motorboating? Well, should we give it to him that easy, like Danny? Yeah, think, mm, he's going to owe us. He already owes us a little cash. That's true, you know? So uh, <laughs> what do you think? What do you do, buddy? Are you going to clean our cars? Every time they're in the parking lot, you got to clean me and Danny's car after the podcast for a month. That's it. That's once a week. That's for nothing. For a motorboat? For a motorboat no. from these young ladies? I got I'm something. Good. I got something. What? No, I got something simpler. All right. You gotta deep throw the microphone, <laughs> and you gotta say, you gotta say, you gotta say, who's a um, who's a black guy with a big cock? No, uh, you know it doesn't. Have, you're gonna say, oh my god, Nick Cannon. <laughs> I can't believe your penis is in my mouth. <laughs> I'll let you that? lick a nipple. Oh, okay. wow. dude, <laughs> crock, come on. <laughs> Can Nick we go Cannon, for a suck? I suck th- a nipple. What? Just one lick. Uh, you haven't agreed to letting me fuck? stick it up your ass yet. I, so. I don't really do gay shit. I don't know. It's just me. Croc. What we is can the, come up with something else, the, I guess. The microphone? is that, That's not really gay. I'm pretty sure if you're standing around with your uncle and his friends and everybody and whatever. And I don't, they saw me do that? Yeah, but then you... But then, <laughs> then, I would be... Oh Stop! No, God. no. Oh, but then you said, no, "Look bro. at Sky Breathing." You bring up, like, you go look at her. Look at this chick. I got to lick her nipple. <laughs> no, yeah, that's I'm a disowned. They, you're life. disowned. Yeah, King Croc, come on. I get beat up first. This is what you got to do. <laughs> dude, I'm pretty sure. You look pretty good. Wild and out. My pops, <laughs> dude. My dad would. My dad would be uh, upset at you, dude. My pops, and you know he's an alpha dude. dude from I New feel York. like your pops. If your pops saw you do that, deep throat a microphone to get to lick a, a beautiful girl's nipple, he'd be like, "No, dude. You, the, the goal is to always lick the nipple. Fuck what you dude, have to do." Listen, King Croc, <sighs> Ra Ra and Sky. Know, these are the Jenna Jameson and the mm-hmm. uh, Audrey Batoni. I'm really dating. What's wrong? With Whoa, you? Who's a porn star of my era? 
Andre Batoni was a hot porn star in the 2010s. Alexis Lisa, Texas. Lisa Ann. Lisa Ann. These girls are the Lisa Ann and the Jenna Jameson of the modern times, dude. That's These true. girls are the top porn they're stars. Hybrid, they're hybrid, though. They're hot. hybrid, they're too. Cool. So you that's need so to, true. what we're saying is you need to pretend that's Nick Cannon's fucking cock, <laughs> and you need to put your mouth around it, because then you're going to be able to lick her nipple. <laughs> Only thing is, honestly, I got drained yesterday, so my libido is really not up. That's why I'm not that into Your libido? <laughs> I'm not that into it, because I got drained last night. So Who how drained did you? Get you? Trained? A, a prostitute? No. Did a boil on your neck get lanced? What do you mean, Dre? Cro- I, 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 I only said that, Croc, because if you had gotten <laughs> laid, you would open this <laughs> podcast with that information. You would open the pod with that information. No, I wouldn't. Who did you have I don't, sex with? Why I would I brag me, about... Dude. This is definitely a DHB. You know, why would I DHB <laughs> right, right now? Do, you're demonstrating that. higher fucking value This is right a pickup now. move. <laughs> He's pretending he got laid last <laughs> night. You're DHBing for Sky and Rara. No, I'm just being... I'm not in the mood, you know what I mean? It's God okay. Damn it! All right. Well, can you be Tunde Baba? Talk. Can you be Tunde Baba? And you, <laughs> and you have to ask. Uh, I don't know. What should we do? What should you do as Tunde Baba? So this is what's gonna happen. King Croc, you're gonna go into the bathroom. Yeah. And you're gonna, or you just go outside. Okay. Go outside, and I want this to be. I don't even want to recognize you. Yeah. Preferably, you come in shirtless, or yeah. better yet, in a blanket of some sort, mm-hmm. and you just need to be Tunde Baba. Right. You do don't I, do answer the King Croc. Yeah, you're gonna hit on them yeah. as Tunde. No, don't you, hit on them. You tell them about what you will give them, the dowry you will provide they, oh, if they marry you. If they you got let this. you lick the nipple or whatever. Here we right? go. Remember, you're a different person. You're getting Tunde Baba, okay? You're going to fetch him from hey, outside. Hey, hey, I want you <laughs> deep in character. <laughs> what? Should I get my, my Tunde cla- glasses? Whatever you need no. to do. Listen, just remember, you you do some real character work here. I want you to really dig deep yeah, and deep. believe you're Tunde Baba. Know Tunde what you want coming. in the scene. You know what you want in the scene. Back. Know what you want. Go after it. Stakes. You got to have high stakes. <laughs> All right. Well, right. that's fun. <laughs> what are you doing, Austin? You grabbing the action cam here? Ooh. Nice, King Croc. Okay, well, Austin, I'm really sorry. You're good. It's okay. They're durable. All right, we're getting the action cam going here. So, uh, oh, yeah. But, yeah, I mean, you guys don't want to start your own pod or something? No, we do. We've been saying that. We want to start the Figure It Out podcast. It's yeah. just do And we've been planning out ideas for months now. Yeah, we have a bunch of ideas in our we notes app. It's right more right the... Exactly. Yeah. It's more Perfect. like the executing of like the setup and doing all that mm-hmm. that we've. Well, been he can. Uh, off. Austin can run it for you for a fair price. You know, he can. What's a fair price? Well, that you guys negotiate yeah, a, negotiate well because you've got to jack him off once a month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah <laughs> 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 all right. Well, he's really taking his time with Tune Day. I think he's going all the way down. To What's he gonna do? Yeah. He's What's gonna, a- well, Tune Day Baba is his uh, Nigerian character. He's gonna come back as an African. It's really good. <laughs> it's pretty funny <laughs> actually. He's he, gonna be a very African man. He's okay. good at it. His dad's, uh, I believe, has that accent. So he really, he's just a different person. Watch. <laughs> I will not day. Tunde. Hello. Uh-huh. Baba. Hi. <laughs> and do a mic. Tunde, Baba. And do a mic. To the mic. I need the mic. Where's my phone? Woo. My brother told me about you two ladies. <laughs> I have prepared a very nice, in my hometown, I have some hippos in the back. <laughs> These animals, have you heard of a hippo? Uh-huh. Beaut. Mm. I kiss my hippo every morning, <laughs> every morning, like I'll be kissing you. The dowry my family has pre- prepared for you, for you to come and have a good night. Mm. <laughs> Three cows. <laughs> and I'm giving you a deal on this one. I'm being honest. Three cows. <laughs> two hippos. <laughs> one, two, three, four, and five. <laughs> I have some um, some Yanish. You know, yeah, you, you sabi? Yeah, Yanish? Uh, today, Yanish. Today, I'm sorry to interrupt. Bitter leaf. But <laughs> I'm telling you, Yanish, bitter leaf. I'm, I'm going to let you continue. I'm Anything just, they want. But just look what about those who say, <laughs> like, what, about, yeah. if you, if, yeah. what about if you unload two hippopotamuses on Sky and Ra Ra? Yes. Um, does, that seems like a burden to me that they have to take care of oh. two right. massive semi-aquatic animals now. Oh, but you don't know. Mm-hmm. See? Okay. 
American people, you don't you don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> when you get the hippo, <laughs> the mother father God has decreed upon us, you will become richer than you can ever imagine. Oh. Mm. So I'm giving you two hippos. <laughs> good luck charm. That's nice. This is starting to sound good. Yeah. Some hippos? Like a pet. A pet. <laughs> guinea pig. Mm. Well, Sky, how do you feel about that? Is the offer accepted for three cows, two <laughs> hippos, and what was the rest of it? Bitter leaf Yanish. And a Yanish, dude. I don't mm. know what a Yanish is. Was it bitter leaf? Bitter yan- leaf. What's bitter leaf? Okay, so in my country, bitter leaf. You know, you're eating soup, stew, mm. goat meat, fish head. Uh-huh. Put the bitter leaf in there. Oh, it's like sriracha <laughs> or something? It, it, it's, it's a garnish. So good. It's tapatio. It's a gar- that seems, but it's that not... Seems- it, you cannot... Listen, <laughs> my family, me and my guys, we grow it in the pounds. You know what uh-huh. I mean? We're, we're, we're yeah. pushing packs, my niggas. You uh, get what okay. I'm saying? Okay. It seems... Uh, it's real shit. <laughs> sure. All right. It's, it's a strange leaf. thing to, to bring up in this bargain, but okay. Uh, (laughs) What do you think about this guy? Um, I mean, I've never had an offer like this before and it's Mm -hmm. kind of hard to turn down. Right. Yes. You see what I I feel like I might be missing out on something if I don't take it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Right. Well, Mm, Becky, Becky, Becky. So, Tunde Baba can leak the knee bar. So, uh, we're going to end the podcast right now and if you want to see Tunde Baba get his reward for the cows and the hippos and the bitter leaf. <laughs> well, why don't you go follow Ra Ra and Sky on Instagram and, and just see what's maybe linked in their bio. I think that would be a good way to find what happens after the cameras go dead. For sure. Yeah, why don't we do that? We love you all. Check out Leo and Friends on the Patreon as well. Goodbye. Peace. Bye. Goodbye.